And there we go. I, I apparently need to uh, change the transition settings on this collection of scenes because it just snapped right to live. It didn't fade in like I normally have. So, uh, all right. Uh, but we're here. Um, how doing... dare it? I know, right? It was so jarring how quickly I saw my own face staring back at me. Certainly alarming. It always is. <laughs> uh, much it's like our around. my least favorite jump scare <laughs> your own face i agree no just your face. your face oh yeah, my face oh <laughs> oh I, you know you're yeah, right it's mean oh. Oh, there's sorry. the tone for the evening set <laughs> <laughs> all right um so like i said in chat uh i'm not really prepping a big like narrative intro for this um, I don't know how invested you guys are in your characters, but I hope it's on the slim to nil side. Other Profoundly. Than, yeah, Casey with with his Mira's character making a reappearance. Um, uh, my alt, Mira's alt. Mira's alt, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, but um, it's a uh, Tomb of Horrors, and my whole idea was that you guys, uh, your characters. Actually, first, uh, just for um, the sake of VOD, since I don't know who all we have in chat currently, why don't we have everybody introduce themselves and their characters? Um, we'll start uh, according to alphabetically by characters. So that would be Adernus. Adernus first. Adernus. Adernus. Well, I'm Matt Newman um, of the Newman clan. And Adarnus is a suit of armor who has a magical suit of armor, who is a suit of a magical suit of armor, who crafts magical suits of armor <laughs> for a living. <laughs> Exhibit uh, was right there. Yeah, specifically <laughs> I'm a Warforged Artificer armor subclass, so um, yeah. Never gonna die. Nice. That's the spirit. <laughs> Watch me dead in like the first. Encounter. <laughs> now, to be honest, he, first really encounter is like fifteen rust monsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Well, it, that was specifically kind of non-magical metals, I believe. Right. All right. Yeah. Anyways. All right, uh, Cora. Uh, I'm Casey. I'm also Cora. Uh, it's nice and alliterative for everyone. Uh, I am a Yuan T. Uh, bard slash rogue slash warlock. Uh, I'm gonna be doing my damn to keep everyone alive. All right. Mm -hmm. And he oh oh hi Roland. And he almost took fighter as well. I almost got him to take a fourth class. Huh? Oh uh, if you give me two free levels, yeah sure. Yeah, we're level fourteen. So where's the mm -hmm. level fourteen characters? Fourteen hey. classes all at level one. <laughs> mm. Can I? Can I? No. No, but. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, uh, Yelindar. Yep, uh, that is my half elf paladin, uh, who I guess is like an administrator of some sort who somehow got wrangled into all of this. Still not fair. Probably got <laughs> on the wrong side of someone even a little further up uh, in the chain. So. All right. I mean, is it? Would you call him an administrator, Mancer? <laughs> there. No, no. And Ziggs. Uh, oh, I'm Dave. Geez. I'm playing Z <laughs> Ziggs. Ziggs. The <laughs> I'm playing a grung rogue soul knife. <laughs> he actually did it. I didn't think he'd do it. Yeah. What? The psychic uh, so I'm, frog. I'm going to be the psychic uh, trap monkey. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, so I, like I had said, I just had planned that you guys were just going to take the generic adventurers mm -hmm. intro. Mm -hmm. um, but Casey, you made it sound like you had a different idea in mind. What's uh, yours? Oh no, specifically for Cora coming back uh, empty-handed from Miris, uh, <laughs> basically reports to her overseers in the uh, the Yuan Ti Empire and is told, uh, you know, that her profound failing to, you know, advance the agenda of. Uh, the, the resurgent uh, empire. Uh, <laughs> she's so she's basically desperate for to to find any success, and so the idea of a a big treasure hoard, uh, just you know sitting there for the taking, uh, thinks that it will enable her to get back in the good graces of uh, the rest of the Yuan uh, I 
for a second, I thought you were going to say that as punishment, they send her to the Tomb of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, you know, she kind of got her, her burn notice. She's a little bit of a, mm. a spy <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, and so she, you know, assembled the best and brightest she could, and unfortunately it was this group. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we got. Oops. Um, Casey, did you end up taking, or Cora, did you end up taking those hirelings by chance, or no? Uh, no. Too much of my money, I think, is spent on the contingency doll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't seem like you were really go for the, uh, the hirelings anyways. It just seems like it's a, it's an easy button as far as, like, well, this looks dangerous, and then you just, suddenly a hireling yeah. gets pushed out ahead of the rest of the party, and... So. I mean, I, I mentioned this in chat earlier, but basically, like, Knights of the Dinner Table solved this mm -hmm. sort of dungeon ages ago. You just yeah. buy, like, 300 goats and just march them <laughs> in a single yeah, file exactly. line and just watch what happens to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> that That's the opposite kind of an evening that I... I mean, well, that would be fun to watch those goats all get, you know... Uh, what it all Viserated. the traps happen yeah so what so i know real quick i know justin has experience with this dungeon before uh what about the rest of you are any of you familiar with what awaits in the tomb of horrors i did a cursory glance about a year ago when i thought i might run it when we were kind of on our, on our D, D kick anyways so sure. i have a gist of some of the you know the kind of stuff that happens but i don't know money specifics if any really right okay i've heard of it <laughs> i'm guessing it's a tomb and it's gonna be horrifying that's the twist is it's actually not it's actually yeah. that's a pretty nice point. it's actually pretty pleasant it's yeah, actually a plateau mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the cliffs of insanity. insanity it's actually a mystery it's a misspelling it's actually a book you get there it's just a tongue <laughs> It's a bomb of horrors. Um, I have not played it. I remember it from second edition, but I, I don't. I definitely think I didn't play it. Mm. All right, and Justin, you've actually played this before. I've actually uh, ran it in different versions. Um, oh. So I'm not going to be making any decisions. I'm really here to basically just provide plus four saves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing to provide. You're, you're just so, adding hit points to the team. Like, like a minstrel in Dark Age Camelot. That's basically all you're here for. <laughs> all right. I already have plus four saves. Three of them. Mm -hmm. Well, now they're eight. Right. <laughs> okay. My son just made his way down here and peeks into the chat every so often. So if you see him on, on the camera... Uh, he'll he will be making faces, uh, but all right. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, so yeah, so you all find your way to the location, the rumored location of the Tomb of Horrors. Uh, it is a large bald hill out in the middle of nowhere. There are a large collection of black, like inky black rocks, uh, arranged on the top of the hill. Uh, the hill's about sixty feet from the rest of the the area up to the top. Um, the sides are pretty harsh slopes, except for the north. The north face of this hill is uh, sandy, um, loose, and relatively flat. Uh, and then the base of it is covered in like uh, um, like long, uh, long grass, essentially. Um, everything that you have heard of the Tomb of Horrors tells you that the entrance is somewhere on the north face. Uh, the only matter is of finding it. That is the first first step, um, because everything just from looking at it from where you are, everything looks like the same sort of uniform uh, hillside, and there's no evidence of any sort of entrance or not. No, no grass matted down or no change in the rock or anything. So, uh, Ziggs will wander up and have a scout around. Okay, I will take. Um, I'll take a, ooh, you know, uh, yeah, we'll go perception. I was thinking maybe investigation, but probably not for this, since it's a general I, search. I suppose I should pick my starting infusions. Oh, yes. <laughs> you should. Like, Please do that. Bring a long rest. Yeah. So does anybody want, does anybody have a non-magical weapon, or is that, like, stupid at this point? Like, everyone has a magical weapon, right? Uh, actually, I've got a longbow that could probably use an enchantment. Yeah? 
Okay. Yeah. I can I can put an infusion on that. Um, let me. So does an infusion, uh, if the if the base item requires attunement, the infused version would also require attunement. Uh, the infusion will tell me whether it does or not. Uh, okay. So enhanced weapon does not require attunement. Uh huh. Um, Can you so, do okay. a now, like now protection a stuff? Two. Now you have a plus two longbow. Wow. Hell oh yeah. wow. Get wrecked. That was easy. Uh, I, I only have four infusions at a time. Hmm. So that's one of the four, uh, and I'm taking two for myself. Sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I do a cloak of protection or something? Uh, I didn't take Cloak of Protection as one of my options, because no. there's only a certain number of ones I could take. I did take yeah. Helm of Awareness, though. Uh-huh. Uh, which would probably be pretty useful in this mm -hmm. situation. Um, so that is, uh, you have advantage on initiative rolls, and you can't be surprised. Mm. But that one does require attunement. Mm. Uh, I also up. have Boots of the Winding Path, uh, which mm -hmm. you can teleport up to 15 feet as a bonus action. That one also requires attunement. Um, and I can make a ring of water walking, because that's fun, which does not require attunement. So, does anybody have any attunement slots open, is the question, I guess. I've got, I've got, <laughs> no. You've got one. Alright, why don't I give you the oh, helm of awareness? If your helmet is already magical. No, oh, cute little frog helmet. Or actually, no, no, fuck that. Uh, <laughs> your, are your boots currently magical? Who's? So, Mine. So. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, I got boots. Oh, okay. Speed. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you have a helm of awareness, and then I have enhanced oh, defense armor feet. and resistant armor, <laughs> and the damage type that I'm going to be resistant to will be. Hmm. I can pick any damage type. Uh, what, what would be a good damage type, guys? EM fuckery. Uh, <laughs> I mean, probably like. You know, bludgeoning or piercing or something. That's not very uh, exciting. Like an element. Acid, cold. Oh, it has to be an cold. element. Uh, yeah. I'll pick acid. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Acid or fire, I would think. Yeah, I'm gonna do acid. Okay, cool. I'm ready. Nice. Well, then, what'd you bother asking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Ziggs, you approach the hillside and uh, and just uh, kind of glance over it. Um, and with that pretty good perception roll, you're able to tell that. Uh, you can see a few different sections that um, it looks like the it's it's not natural like obviously the hill has been carved into at some point um, but it looks you can tell that uh, w like what would have been the dirt and rock and everything actually looks like it slid down and formed not a cave in necessarily but like a little landslide to say and there's three different sections where you can see that uh, there's one on the eastern side of the north face. One on the western side and one in the middle. So we got to dig our way in. Uh, it's not called the leisurely stroll of horrors. <laughs> well, good, good thing me and my uh, five donkeys have plenty of equipment for this. <laughs> Do you actually have five donkeys? I have yeah. five donkeys. Yes. Yeah, no, no, eight no, no. Yeah, grand, yeah, dude. He had, we had two grand to burn through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not spending it on donkeys. God. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've, I've got pickaxes, I've got stubbles, I've got mm -hmm. uh, oh, lead hammers, I've got everything you need. I, I will point out to the rest of the party where it's digging yeah, and yeah. then I, I, sit I down. suppose I should quickly <laughs> describe my character who is basically as thin as a stick and uh, wearing, yeah, just studded leather armor. He is a paladin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he mostly just sort of lounges on his broom of flying as it uh, tows him from place to place. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to, to do any digging, I've got the stuff. Hmm. I, glance, I glance at the robot. <laughs> I think... Clearly. Why are you looking will... at me like that? <laughs> Drum a little ditty. I think this sounds like a job for you all. <laughs> that turned up and what? it did. Okay. <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> not how persuasion works. Do you want to contest it? <laughs> uh, I like Casey's character. Oh. Into poison. It's not going to do anything. Uh, Damn. The worst. 
It gives me a mild buzz for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's 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 the what's the dilly do here? We can't go in. There's like, there's like uh, all right. It's like in, in like three places. Yeah, you I mean, don't see any like direct entrance or any any sign that there's even anything we, in this hill. Um, so you, we know it's supposed to be at this hill. Though. Yes, this you you right. know that the rumors that you've heard, every rumor that you've heard, have lo have pegged it at this spot. Um, mm -hmm. And so you're facing the oh. only flat side of the hill, which is the north side. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Ziggs has noticed three separate areas that it seems like the um, like sediment and everything has. Or there's been like mini landslides, so to say, like everything's kind of caved in on it, um, mm -hmm. which it looks like it's happened. You know, it would have happened at this point probably decades ago, uh, mm. but you can still see that it's shaped somewhat differently from the rest of the, the rest of the hillside. Uh, hmm. I can start ritually casting detect magic. Let's see if we can figure out the right way to go from that. Sure. I mean, I can do the same. Uh, or, or, this is a bit weird, but can I use, like, intelligence plus my proficiency with Mason's tools to, like, kind of get a feel for where, like, underground tunnels might be or something? Uh, yeah, you can do that. I would take oh, a roll like that. Kind of random, but I have, like, super duper proficiency bonus with tools. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I'm Cheating is what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> Classic Matt Newman. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, roll. rules don't apply to me, Newman. That's <laughs> what they call me. Wait, why did I have advantage? I didn't mean to have advantage. Um, default. Oh, no, it's just default. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, default characters have... Um, I thought I changed everybody, but I might not have. Uh, they have advantage always on, and you can go into the little character sheet settings on the far it's right like the yeah. left, the if left you're using beyond is... 20 then uh it's a toggle oh sure time. okay all right so 17 no, no, no. this is fine so 17 i rolled a three and i got a 17 fyi um yep. if yeah this the hill is like it is sturdy enough and there's enough um like stone underneath all of this dirt and everything to support tunnels um you're pretty sure of that uh as far as get a feel for the entrance yeah, not 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 anything beyond what Ziggs has already spotted. Okay. Uh, are there any snakes around here? You could probably find a snake. I would say a garter snake. Yeah, I'd like to talk to a snake. What? Uh, I, well, yeah. So I got animal friendship, but only for snakes as a racial. So oh, I want to see, see if they know anything. You have <laughs> animal friendship for only snakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so you Cora finds a snake, um, mm -hmm. and <laughs> uh, it it you know coils up and and uh, um, and reacts uh, with with a, a no small amount of of like anxiety as Cora approaches, um, and then when mm -hmm. you ask it for information or kind of get an idea, um, all it can really tell you is that uh, there's no mice around here. Um, but there are spiders that come out, uh, uh, and then it indicates a direction that would point you to the western side of the north face. Mm -hmm. I think it. I, I give it a frozen rat. <laughs> it takes you it and then slithers away. Those on you. I got a, a bag of holding. <laughs> you never know. Uh. Yeah, you have a bag of holding. I have five Yeah, uh, so I, I come back to the group and I say, uh, yeah, so uh, intel reports have indicated that the western side is home to some sort of spider uh, threat. Intel reports? You were speaking to a snake. I have sources everywhere. I have ears and eyes <laughs> in all places. The Empire is, uh, you know, <laughs> is one of means and, uh, you know, competency and... Uh, you know, dangerous, dangerous competency. How goes the hole digging? And Darius just stares at you with hollow eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we have not yet begun to dig. Takes looks at the robot again. <laughs> <laughs> it would take me many hours to dig through the surface of the soil. 
get started then. Very well. <laughs> I begin to dig. <laughs> All right. Robot, I'm you're just, digging just, in the right place. I'm just punching the ground. <laughs> and it's just like... <laughs> Like I just kneel and I'm just punching the ground and like the my my fists emit like thunderous force with every punch and it just mm-hmm. shakes up the soil and I'm just like slowly descending into the earth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. So um. Where are whereabouts are you digging? Um. Well, you said uh the the west, right? That's where uh, the spiders the come from. Side. Yeah, I'll I'll go to the western side of the hill. Like still kind of like on top of the hill, but like, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so you're going on top of the hill and you're digging down? Yes. Okay. Like forever. Why don't you just dig where the landslide is? All right, fine. I'll go to the landslide. I mean, you Jeez. can dig wherever you want. That's fine. I'd... No, no, um... cool. Whatever. <laughs> I I'll... I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a warforged soldier. I live to be ordered. <laughs> Good. good. Point please, awareness please in the direction slot. of land to be dug. <laughs> okay, I will take an athletics check for me then. All right. Initiate digging. Nice. Uh, okay, so Adarinus, uh goes to work digging, um, and multiple minutes go by, and he you just see that he's slowly um, making his way into into the hillside, uh, moving stuff aside and everything like that. Um, uh, with the th- the thunderous cacophony of his fists. Yeah, it, all you hear is just like... <laughs> just like over and over and over again. I do have No tool. need to eat, no need to you drink. don't need to use your fists. No need to sleep. No nope. fists. Okay. The dirt. All right. Good, good job. Do you, wait, do you have good a job. shovel? Yes. Oh, I have two, well, hand I me the shovel. Here, I have a pick too. Appreciated. I shall incorporate these into my armor. Uh, well, they just get absorbed. Don't get. Yeah, let's not get too familiar here. <laughs> okay, so um, Adarnus, uh, through your digging, um, you are able to open up uh, not a crawl space, but a, a tight entrance through this landslide into what appears to have once been an entrance tunnel of some sort. I'm going to move us to another map. And if all goes well, this should be the only map that we are on. If all goes well. Um, you guys are in the top left corner of the map. Saying we're is... going to die, like, immediately if all goes well? <laughs> we'll see. I don't I don't see anything. You guys yeah, don't see anything? Or something. No. Okay, hang on just a sec. We've already suffered a cave-in. <laughs> 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 Who knew the Tomb of Dars- Horrors would be this dark? Does anyone not have night vision? Dark vision? I don't think I do. Uh, I don't, nope. but I have a, a lantern of revealing. Ooh. Does it reveal darkness? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> things do weird things in fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> While lit, this hooded lantern burns for six hours on one pint of oil, shedding bright light in a 30-foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. Invisible creatures and objects are visible as long as they are in its bright light. Oh, that's cool. Sounds helpful. Damn right. 30 feet, you said? 30 feet of bright light, 30 feet of dim light. And I can use an action to cover the lantern with its hood, which dims it. But, but I won't. <laughs> oh, now I can see. Somehow. Okay. Um, Somehow. Who has dark vision? Billion dark. No. Unless you go. I'm going to put a little aura around me, which will show. Um, so, like, anything that's invisible is revealed in that radius. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, Cora, do you have night vision or dark vision? Range of water. It should be 60 feet unless you're a warlock, I think, is like the only one that gets 120. Yeah. Okay. Um, you all should be... 
updated then with your dark vision capabilities. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, Adarnus and his lantern is shedding light for um, for Ziggs to see by. Um, this takes a while. Uh, you guys started during the day. Uh, the sun is going down and shadows are getting long. And Adarnus, the, the crawl space or the, the passageway that you are able to clear out... Um, leads you through to about there. Uh huh. So this so room I'm now in like a. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yep. This looks like it was an an entry hall that was once exposed to everything. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh. Well. Yeah. You... I'll. Yeah. Can I? You know what? I'll... I yeah. Can you put it on the... Into a fish? What the hell? He casts... Past the boundary of the wall? Unless I go... Yeah, same here. I'm actually going in there. I'm going to walk right up to the edge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I deleted look. the wall, so I assume that that would also remove the dynamic the like the like dynamic lighting uh-huh. blocker, but apparently it has not. Uh, um, so... Was that a question? I, I mean... <laughs> we lose Nick. Uh, can you hear me? I can, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. all right. I don't know if you heard me before, but I said that I removed the the wall, the piece heard of art. That part. Okay, all right. Can you yeah. see into there even when you're standing outside? Nope. Yep. Oh, uh, I might be. Oh, because I think I'm in the radius of the land. I see. Oh, right. Yeah. Although, so, yeah, okay, so if I move to this square, I'm past the wall and within, like, the whatever, so it's separate objects that are illuminated or something. Like, it's basically, like, the line of vision right. in okay. and out of the tomb. I am going to take My care of that just a away. sec. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Cool. There we go. Huzzah. Does Ziggs have light now, too? Wait, my light went away again. Ah, okay. I'm also... <laughs> chat is roboting pretty hard for me, so... Uh, hold on just a moment. Um, I'm going to turn off dynamic lighting. I think that might be screwing with it. I can never seem to get dynamic lighting to just work. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to remove the whole lighting bit. Uh, so you guys won't have to worry about like that level of um, detail. Uh, Yay! <laughs> so you're getting a, a, a pretty sizable buff. Well, a moderate buff here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I, you know, now that we have the entrance cleared away, I would like to to go ahead and give that good, good hard looks. Uh, if that's all right. Yep, Would I'll be ready like in just be a second. Intelligence sec. or uh, per- all of my light is gone now. Yep, <laughs> I'm in the process of. Okay, how is that? The entire map is revealed. What you can <laughs> see everything? No, <laughs> you gotta be kidding I, me! No, I can't. Like, I can't. I can see is I my character in a field black. Uh, I think Casey's messing with you. No, I'm. 
I'm not. I I thing revealed when I uh, yeah, like at that square, and then I moved one up, and now it's so. so I find it's still I, I only. Oh, I can go through walls. I don't know why. Isn't that? I'm testing what. <laughs> well, hang on. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so Casey, you can see. Yeah, I still. Okay. It was only for like ten. Sure. Okay. So we're good now. Yeah, my... more or less. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So, like, wait. Yeah. Range, yeah, a range yeah. of okay. Love walls. So. Um, this is this is still I, like this dynamic lighting is still chewing up my processing. Other, so, I think we're gonna do this the old fashioned way, um, where I just manually reveal stuff as you see it. So, bear with me for just another minute. Oh, yep. sure. Uh, everyone go ahead and take 19 temp HP just from uh, being around me. <laughs> Why, thank you. And my inspiring leadership. All right. Oh, yeah. God, you're so inspiring. <laughs> I am the police. How did, how did I ever get on without you? You always play the same character. Uh, really? Well, Cora actually inspired... Uh, part of the design of Buffy, um, which is why uh, they kind of have similar skill sets, and I, I really liked playing the character in Miris, and so I was like, oh, since I only played her for like two sessions, I wanted to do a leader character for my next one. So, it's not always the same. <laughs> it's not always the same, it's just, you know, the last No, it's issue. just different takes <laughs> on, on the same skill set consecutively. <laughs> In in your defense, Buffy is not a snake person. Yeah. Also, that's like completely different. <laughs> as far as as far as we can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, How is that? <laughs> that's fine. Uh, okay. Cool. I can move into blackness and it doesn't reveal anything. So perfect. Exactly. Okay. This is how I used to do it like years ago before I was like, Oh, I'll try this whole dynamic lighting bit. Um, mm -hmm. and this, yeah, this is just it's never worked. No, it has not worked. Never worked as advertised. <laughs> so, okay. So let me describe this little entry, this caved in entryway for you. And then I will take, uh, that test mm -hmm. from you, Cora. Okay. Um, oh. Because you said you were testing something, right? You wanted to investigate. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll, I, I want to give it. I believe I said a good hard look. See, <laughs> sure thing. Okay, so the corridor, this little corridor, like I said, it looks like it was once um, open to air, like the exterior, just like it is now. Uh, it has since been caved mm -hmm. in. The ceiling is about uh, twenty feet up. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the entrance, like the entrance way that uh, you can tell after. Adarnus cleared it, it scoops up towards the ceiling, like it, it widens out on the inside. But there's this huge, thick layer of webbing um, all along the ceiling. So you can't actually see the ceiling itself, because there's all this just layers and layers and layers of spider webs um, mm -hmm. in the way. And there are hundreds of little spiders that are just crawling around the walls and the ceiling and, and everything like that. Um, so I will go ahead and take a perception check from Cora. All right. Uh, let's see. That should just go through. Wow. Nice. Better off with the pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. The walls are um worked, but they're not. Uh. They don't. They're they're really uh hastily worked. Um, they're not smooth. It just looks like someone just dug this, carved this uh, little entryway in, and then there's two uh, solid oaken doors on the inside, and they have large black iron uh, 
rings hanging from each one. Um, and that would signify that those doors would pull outward. Uh-huh. I'm going to check the doors for traps. All right, I'll take uh, a, an investigation check. Yikes. You do. N I'm loving the fact that you guys are rolling sub 10 for every <laughs> roll, by the way. Uh, you do not see uh, any sign of traps on the doors. Open it, robot. Indeed. Step back, just in case. <laughs> and I will step forward and uh, try the door. Okay. Uh, I will take a dexterity saving throw from Ziggs and Adernis. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. It has begun. <laughs> right. Is, plus four. is, it, is this uh, to avoid traps? It is. <laughs> So what, uh, is the plus, is the plus four, oh, like, a dungeon uh, delver? In radius of you? Yeah, it's ten feet, sorry. Okay. Oh, but... Oh, okay, so we don't get the plus four. Oh, plus four. oh no. Wait, that's twenty? Appa yeah, seven. apparently. Okay, so these are ten foot squares. Yeah. Or, they, oh. they are the... Oh, I was gonna... Hang on, just a sec. I'm gonna confer with my map real quick. My paper map oh yeah no because i i was oh, looking yeah. at the door and it was 60 feet to the edge and i was like oh well i guess someone's opened it by hand because that's not mage hand <laughs> the, <laughs> these are five foot squares so let me adjust that for you oh okay, okay. oh okay. okay you're good all right so i still i got a 20 or sorry i got a 17 like for realsies gotcha mm -hmm. ba -ba 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 -ba. okay um so you're both only going to take half damage from this oh good Success. Please be acid. Please be acid. Uh, okay, so... Wow. Um, Adarnus uh, marches forward, grabs one of the rings, and pulls it. The door mm -hmm. uh, swings open about halfway, and you hear this mechanical um, shifting on the inside, like beyond the door. <laughs> um, and when Adarnus pulls the door open, um, he can see that it's largely just a wall with like just enough space carved out of it for this mechanism to function. Otherwise there's nothing behind this door. Um, but you hear a uh, shifting and then suddenly the ceiling collapses in, and <laughs> both Ziggs and Adarnus are going to take. Uh, well, I've got evasion. So it says if I take save for half, I take none if I succeed, right? Nice. Yeah, correct. So, yep. so Adarnus yeah. will take 12 bludgeon damage. God, the okay. ability is so busted. Uh, um, temporary HP. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, does your kind of HP work with constructs? Is that a uh, joke? No. <laughs> I don't think Warforged are considered constructs. They're still considered humanoid. I mean, oh, it's yeah? a friendly creature. Uh, yeah. Because the, the, there's, yeah. a, there's a Warforged in my it's Salt Marsh like... campaign, and, and mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything in the, the stuff for it. And this was, granted, he created it before it was officially on Eberron, like he created it with the UA mm -hmm. stuff, but there wasn't anything in there that marked them as a construct. Like, they were pretty much just yeah. humanoid. They can still be healed. Okay. I mean, yeah, if, if, if he couldn't get temp HP, then, like, could he be inspired? Could he right. <laughs> be, like, could he fall in love? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question we're all wondering. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I, like, thematically, it, like, kind of bounces off my defensive field, that like, my force field that's, like, around my armor. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I turn... And like, look at everyone else, and I say, "Is everyone okay?" <laughs> oh, I was, I was gonna shout that it, through the dust cloud. Are, <laughs> are you okay? Who do you think you're talking to? Oops, the Frogman. I, I can, <laughs> ah, I can yes. already tell that this. We is just met, well. Fro Frogman. Are you okay? <laughs> yes. Good. This doorway does not it's appear to lead inside the way. tomb of horrors. What? I, I yell snake. <laughs> <laughs> you appear to have been had. Mm. Can I look I'm, around for I'm secret doors? Yeah. Would you yeah, I'll, like for me to punch I'll take this it. wall? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take an investigation check from anyone who's <laughs> looking for secret doors in this entryway. Yeah, I might as well roll it. I'll also... Um, I think since it has a, 
a, a 10 minute duration i'll have detect magic on as well oh sure i'll ritual cast it okay that's a 30 foot range right uh it is yeah 30 feet it's blocked by one foot of stone, FYI. Right, and it's okay, and it's the same like radius as your lantern as well. So okay, yes, so you're not getting anything from your detect magic currently. Um, Ziggs, you. I'm not gonna go in the room, but I'll look too. Uh, right. <laughs> wow. Um, so Ziggs, you are going along the walls, uh, like making your way inch by inch, stepping over the rubble and keeping especially cautious of any other uh, collapsible sections. That... I've got a climbing speed of 25 feet as well, and I can I can search for traps at my normal moving speed, so I'm actually climbing on the wall. Nice! I love it. Okay, so yeah, yeah you're just, cool. you're you're being full frog right now, climbing all over the wall. <laughs> um, and frog. you get about halfway, and Korra's like, there's nothing else here, and then <laughs> Ziggs completes his circuit, and he's like, yeah, there's nothing else here. I turn on my heel and continue... I I glare at the snake woman. <laughs> she doesn't see it because she's facing away from you. Psychic could glare at the snake woman. <laughs> <laughs> My 10 HP basically resets to 14. Mm -hmm. um, um, stupid robot was digging in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I was digging precisely where I was told to dig. If you want me to dig elsewhere, you will have to instruct me to dig in a different location. Dig elsewhere. I'm going to go look for another <laughs> snake. <laughs> um, I kind of want to just dig like further into this trap. Just through, just open the door and keep going. Well, is it like, is it like packed soil or is it like hard stone? It's stone from here. Like okay. after probably about yeah. the first five feet in, it becomes stone. Searching for traps. Did I... Uh, such of a doors rubber did i check like where the mechanism was the mechanism the was ceiling? entirely behind the door um and it goes up into the ceiling so there's no way you would have seen it in the entryway mm. uh, one quick question how far is the nearest town from here um i would say probably about Ooh, this would have to be pretty remote so i would say it's going to take you a uh, couple uh, days to get to town I'll be right. all right Okay, well, I guess I will uh, hop, have my broom fly around the, the north side a little bit more, and I'll just look for anything that looks unusual. Okay, I'll take perception. Yeah. The most terrifying thing about the Tomb of Horrors is trying to get into it. <laughs> it's um, going to take us six hours, and we're not going to get in. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, Yildinar, uh, Yildinar, uh you can t you see the two areas, and as you fly up, and and now that Ziggs has pointed them out to you, you can make out the other two sections uh, that look like they have been covered by a landslide uh, pretty easily. But other than that, you don't really see anything else remarkable. Um, you do notice that the blackened stones on the top of the hill. Uh, are arranged in such a way as to, from the sky, look like a skull, um, which is something you wouldn't have noticed were you on the ground. Oh, cool. What is this, Dr. Evil's Fortress? <laughs> I mean, it's essentially. <laughs> so I fly back down, and I say, I think we're in the right place. He can fly? Got oh, a broom. broom. Oh. <laughs> I missed that part. <laughs> uh, all right. Can I go and check the other two places and see if I can find, like, the the, the most likely one to dig now, see if there's any any difference? Uh, yeah, you can go and inspect both of them. I'll take a, a single investigation check uh, as you inspect uh, them both. Does this count for secret doors? I would say... Sure. While he's doing that, since... Since I have no better ideas at the current moment, I will take that that pick that was loaned to me earlier, and I'll just start chopping away at this wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. We don't have to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Query, do you have a better use for me? 
Ziggs, uh, you're confident that there is no way to be sure which one of these is the correct entrance uh, based on their current state. Robot. I am not a robot. I am a Ro warforged. Wobot. You may call me by my designation. Wobot. <laughs> 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 what do you require of me? Dig here! And I'll point at the nearest one. Alright, I'll walk out and I'll go over there. So where is this? Uh, oh, it's... I think you're, you're pointing here, is Yep, it? to the east. Yep, I put a little indent where each Notch. one is. Alright, I'll start digging. <laughs> okay, so the sun was going down when you excavated the first one, so now it is uh, fully nighttime by the time Adarnus gets through this. I, I'm making a camp. Sure. Ah, that's right. You organics must sleep. <laughs> Keep packing can, away. <laughs> can I, can I, wait, 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 wait. Can you just dig a? Can you just dig a like a a, a five foot hole in the ground? For what? Just do it. For what purpose? <laughs> For my purpose. <laughs> He needs a is hot this, tub. Is this a grave for Frog you? hot tub. Yeah, yeah, it's time for frog yeah, hot I'll, tub. I'll, 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 and I'll I fill it with my decanter of endless water and strip yeah. off. Of it. <laughs> out a tiny block for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I keep digging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Yeah. You find uh that this opens up onto another hallway. You can see that it stretches beyond your light. Um, and let me go ahead and describe what you see here. Um, this hallway is uh, markedly different from the previous one. Uh, the floor is a beautiful mosaic of bright, brilliant colored tiles uh, that only seem to have slightly faded uh, despite the passage of uh, what is rumored to be immense time. Um, on the floor, uh, there is a distinct winding red path of tiles. It's roughly about two feet wide, uh, and you can see that it extends from the eastern side of the hallway and then kind of like moves to the middle and goes continuing on into darkness. Um, and you can also tell that on the western wall are um, uh, there's images depicted all along the western wall. Um, right now, you can basically just see what look to be uh, images of like fields, like farm fields and stuff like that. But as it goes on, uh, it looks that you can see that there's more and more stretching all the way down. Oh, okay. Are we going to tackle this in the morning, or...? What time is it? It's, like, dark. Yeah, it's probably, like, 9, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. I can proceed. Whatever. It's going to be just as dark in there as it is out here, so... Yep, agreed. Let's venture forth. I will start I will walking start down, down, the down the corridor. No, 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 stop! stop. <laughs> Would you like to go first? Stop, bot. I will search the floor for traps. Uh, I also have a bunch of uh, ten-foot poles. If you want to be poking around too, I'll give one to the uh, to our war bot to jab yep. at the floor. I'm like I'm like three foot tall with a ten-foot pole. This is ridiculous. <laughs> jab, it, jab in front of it, like like a like. <laughs> it's very uh, silly. Uh, frog, do you trust me? No. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, and then I strum some strings on my lute, and you start levitating five feet off the ground. <laughs> um. All right. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the floor for trap. Okay. Are you using a ten foot pole? Yeah, I got oh. five of them. What? Well, set it off. I don't want to set it off. Well, right. Levitating. What are you worried about? I'm worried about it collapsing. We have to dig it out again. Actually, you probably need a five foot pole to be able to move. Yeah, you're like a gondolier, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Just move the air. You can only use the pole on traps behind you. Oh, no. Well, no, he reaches down and he just kind of like pushes himself yeah. along. 
like a gondolier, exactly. Yeah. 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 Ziggs did not consent to this. <laughs> well, then make a ta- uh, then you gotta pass a uh, no. <laughs> unwilling creature. I believe it's a con save. No. Uh, yeah, con eighteen save if you if you don't want it. <laughs> Nick, can I look for traps, please? I, I'll like cling to the wall. I'm gonna search the wall for traps, and I'll just like oh, whoops, put pad along the wall. I didn't cast it again. Okay, don't that's worry. fine. Yeah, investigation. Does your you only get advantage for secret doors? Yeah, for double yeah. doors. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, how far in are you going? Uh, about ten feet at first. Okay. Um, you do weigh less than five hundred pounds, right? I'm three foot tall. <laughs> That's not an answer to this question. <laughs> yeah, I weigh less than five hundred pounds. Hmm. Okay, so Ziggs, you make your way slowly about um, 10 feet in, uh, hovering off of the ground as you do so, uh, and you do not see any traps, um, any triggers for traps anywhere like that along the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Is this, like, at the far end, is this a wall? Nope, the, the, uh, the path continues forward. Are you fidgeting about? Sorry. I'm going to foot pad along the wall. Okay. And keep checking. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and move your, your token in as far as you're going to go, and then I will reveal from there. Would you like me to sort of float along with you to provide you my saving throw bonus? <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. I'll be within 10 feet of you. I delete my character. Fuck. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How long have you been a robot? <laughs> I'm just going to make idle conversation. Uh, well, I, I concentrate on the here? levitate spell. How, how long have you been a snake? Mm. Kind of a rude question. I am not a robot. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a snake. Long. I'm also I'm I, a very I, normal human woman. <laughs> So, I launch into a I don't... long history of the Warforged. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I don't stop for, like, hours. I'm like the, I'm like the gear guys from, um, from Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so, Ziggs, as you continue down, you can see the red path... Um, continue to follow the western side of the of the uh, hallway. Uh, again, it's about two feet wide, um, and you get a, a better image of or a better view at the uh, images that are all on the western wall. Uh, various scenes. Um, the first of all, you can tell that the wall has been covered by uh, plaster, um, and it seems to stretch the whole the entire height and the entire length of the wall, as far as you can tell. Um, it's been smoothed over, uh, and the illustrations are put on that plaster. Um, you see images of, like, a, a small forest with several wolves in the background, uh, workers of various humanoid races, um, and you even see some lumberers who look like, or I'm sorry, lumberjacks who are strange human-animal mixtures. There's pig-human, there's ape-human, um, stuff like that you really haven't seen before. Uh, Just, uh... And then, uh... And then eventually the images of exterior scenes gives way to uh, scenes of various rooms of some sort of building. There's a library filled with tons of books, and that's about as far as you can see so far. Is there any pattern to the colors on the mosaic apart from the red part? No, otherwise it just seems to be a collection of various bright colors that reflect the light of Adernus's, um, uh lantern pretty well, but the red is the only distinct uh, coloration. Okay, I'll move further down the wall. Checking the wall for traps. Sure thing. Oh wait, that's, that's gone black now. I would just move five feet towards uh... to the right. There yeah, you go. right there. I suppose I should be checking for traps too. Uh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> it's going That's okay, because well. this is totally his lazy lifestyle. So. Yulindar, you are surprised that you don't think levitate is even necessary. Like, you think it's just silly that levitate is being used right now as you walk down this hallway. No, I'm on my broom. It's on his broom. Gonna... Oh, right, yeah. Well, even still, you probably still think levitate is silly. You're like, you could just walk. You'd be fine. You um, have a broom. <laughs> uh, Ziggs. Uh, not the end of this corridor yet. No, you're not. Uh, Dave, go ahead and move further, and then I'll reveal from there. Keep okay. searching the whole way down. Uh, as you continue down, you see that the red path uh, stays along the western side, and then eventually it arcs over to the eastern wall and hugs the eastern wall for about 10 feet before it makes a sharp cut back over to the west and then continues straight down. Um, the scenes on the wall on which you are walking, uh, or at least following, like I said, you saw the scene with a library filled with many books and scrolls. Um, and then you see uh, the wall is made to like an image of like a jail cell or a door, uh, a barred door. Um, and uh, depicting and through the bars, you could see like if it were, you know, looking at the image, you can see beyond the bars like torture devices and stuff like that. And there are the uh, blue hands of some humanoid creature gripping the, the bars of the door. Um, and then beyond that, there is uh, a room that depicts uh, brewer's supplies and alchemy tools, um, tables and tables full of potion bottles and decanters and and herbs and all that. And you can see that some of the herbs look like as if they're bleeding, which is weird. Um, a weird thing to paint on a wall. A it... little, little bit. A little weird. <laughs> but the uh, hallway continues even further. Uh, and now it's getting to the point where the light from Adarnus's lantern is not uh it it's it's making it harder to see so he he cast light on like a dagger of mine right so I've yeah got... yeah you also have <laughs> oh light. okay so it's only it's only 20 feet of bright light and 20 feet of dim light yeah. perfect okay then i'll just adjust for that um you uh oh yeah and you're checking for traps yep me too uh <laughs> <laughs> you're helping <laughs> i'm helping um i'm just keeping that right i'm doing great you're helping yeah, watch out, Skelper. <laughs> watch out. Uh, Ziggs, you can tell that the floor in about this area looks to be... Um, you can tell that the, there are plates on the floor that look to be like pressure plates of some sort. I whistle back and indicate where the... I'll just point. Oh, point. thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? It, crap, don't well, touch it, it. It's an excuse to not listen to the Warforged history. <laughs> what? No, don't There's touch no it. Trap here. There's no there trap. is a trap. There is. Don't argue. What? Do you want me to poke it? I got a nope. big stick. Nope. <laughs> I moved out the wall very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> if the puzzle of this corridor ends up being that you have to follow the red path and that's it, I'm going to be The red, the red path crosses through the trap. The red path because it leads right into a trap. So. Yeah. And you just leap over that, whatever. Can I can I attempt to disarm it? What is that, Thieves' Tools? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can also disarm traps, believe it or not. What? Yeah, we get it. You're good at everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm plus 10 at it, so yeah, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm plus 6 at perception. I'm great at it. <laughs> um, you, yeah, you can attempt to... Uh, to disarm it with a thieves' tools check using dexterity. I just did that. Oh, you did. I see that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So you're able to uh, wedge, um, wedge the lid shut or the panel, the the plate on the floor shut. Um, And then I'll carry well, on down well, the wall. Should we maybe not have the two people that can fly go? It's like, maybe we should group up at this point. <laughs> right? Sure. 
Well, I mean, eventually... <laughs> eventually, we're gonna have to get down path. the hallway, too, right? Yeah. I'm walking the path. Stand back. And, and I'll Yeah, go it. ahead, go ahead, okay. <laughs> Do not worry for my safety. I Here comes... Here comes the tank. <laughs> Here comes the tank. Down the red path. Yeah, so I... Alright, well, go walk on <laughs> well, I, I, Yeah, I'm walking along. Let me know if anything... Uh, so far, nothing, but I am going to stop you. I'm going to say that uh, real quick, as I'm sure you can hear in the background, um, my son is uh -huh. having a heyday upstairs. So we're going to take a break uh, as I go and assist my wife, and then what will probably transition into bedtime. So plan for like a, probably about a 20 minute, half hour break at this point. Okay. Right. Okay. That leaves me.
Okay, and we are back now. Um, and when I stepped away, Ad Adarnus was just beginning his progression along the the red path. Indeed. <clears throat> that was the plan. Mm -hmm. There has been no change in that. Like, there's like you haven't triggered anything. Um, so yeah. feel free to um, proceed. We've identified yeah. a single square that was dangerous. Yeah, just I mean, make believe or, I'm the, the red rubber. path kind of goes in between two squares, so just yeah. make believe that I'm yeah. Um, and that trap is disabled, so I'm just gonna keep walking down. How much do you weigh, Adarius? Oh God, you're gonna make me do math. <laughs> just out of um, curiosity. It should be on your roll twenty. Or I, I actually have no idea. Um, I I didn't I didn't do the full. I didn't look up my weight and and height. Um, but I can find out pretty easily. Okay, it's not important um, right now. I just, if you want to find that out at some point, and then just either message me or okay. let me know. Yep, I, I assume it's roughly the same weight as full plate mail. Uh, I think you're more than that. Honestly, I think you're considerably okay. more than okay. that. But yeah, weight in pounds is seven hundred or two hundred and seventy plus four times your size modifier, whatever that is. Which is like a die roll. Oh, which is a two d six. Yeah, so. Uh, it says average weight 270 to 300. Okay. Well, it, and two, how much 270 gear are you is the. Hmm? 270 is the base. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking at a thing that just says average weight 270 to 300. We'll so just say 280. That works for me. I, I mean, I'm probably more than that because I also have a bunch equipment. of equipment. Oh, sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I Let's say. I, my equipment says I have 77 weight of equipment, so just That's add good. 77 to, uh, yeah. Well, he doesn't Where's need an extra set of armor. He is armor. Yeah. I mean, that's counting my armor. Wait, with plate? Plate armor is 65 pounds. It's only 65? I'm currently carrying 173 pounds. <laughs> what do you carry? I don't know. <laughs> well. Are you, did you... Well, no, all right. We're not gonna worry about I mean, that. But okay, um, I think I have a couple of packs or something. That so it, you're you're in the ballpark of like three. You're over three hundred. Like three forty, three fifty. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Um. So uh. So nothing there yet. Are you gonna proceed past Ziggs, or are you going to stop where you are? Ow! <laughs> that would. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Um. Exactly. If if I may. Mm -hmm. uh, like follow the red path slightly behind oh, okay sure and I weigh less than the robot <laughs> I figured mm -hmm. um, so Ziggs why don't you back up for me again real quick what um, and I'm going to share this with everybody this is a handout I'm going to show two players um, mm -hmm. that you guys see on the wall so this you would have seen this. Um, I I missed this. It should be actually up by where Cora is. Uh, can mm -hmm. you see the image that I shared? Yes. Uh. Okay. So that that um, chest that seems to be held aloft by uh, the two illustrated like Anubis type characters, like the dog people, that is at a, at about where Cora is, and then mm -hmm. right um, in front of her is where that jail cell door that I, that torture chamber door mm -hmm. that I described is. And then the herbalism and potion, everything is beyond that. So that's, that's what mm -hmm. you can see there. Hmm. That is a cool handout. Mm -hmm. I will, I will examine said wall chest. Wall chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, examine. What is your intent just to are look you, for are you, any sort of trap mechanism. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take an investigation check. Phew. <laughs> you guys have been rolling a lot of sub tens. Sevens and eights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you can see that it's hinged on the bottom. Uh, so as to allow the lid to swing down uh, if a catch on the top of it is pressed. Um, mm. And then you can tell that that catch, uh, like once you're able to see where that hinges and how this chest 
can open, you can see that that catch is trapped. Um, there is a needle, uh, a little like pinhole sized opening um, that would lead you to believe you're, and you know, traps at this point. You believe that there's a needle that would come out of there. Um, you believe that you would be able to disable it through the use of your thieves' tools. I will attempt to do so. All right, that's a thieves' tools dexterity check. Hmm. Or I could just stand in front of it and good luck puncturing my plate mail with a needle. <laughs> um, you are confident that you have uh, disabled the uh, needle firing mechanism on this. Well, go Should on, I give it a whirl? It. Open it, robot. <laughs> I am not a robot. Open it, robot. <laughs> Close enough. I open it. Okay, uh, um, so Adarius opens the chest, uh, and it appears to be empty. Uh, you don't see anything, um, but with the... Who has the light? We have... Oh, Adarius does. You have the light. Yeah, I've got, I've got all he, light. He and, and Zex both have yeah. lights. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Indeed. Um, Adarius, uh, you're, you can tell that your light reflects off of something... Uh, like, when you first open it, it looks to be empty, because you can see the interior walls, and they go down and everything like that. But but then you see that there appears to be something sticking up out of the bottom of it. Um, it, it looks to be like a metal cylinder of some sort standing on its end. Huh. Um, can I pull it out? Yeah. <laughs> pull it out. Okay, you reach in and you grab the cylinder and you pull it, uh, and you feel, uh, you f it feels like it's actually going through the bottom of the chest and into the wall. So when you pull it, there's a little bit of resistance, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it stops, and you hear this loud mechanical clanking, and you feel the plates beneath your feet shift, but they don't drop because they have been stalled or stopped by yeah. zigs. This is like a lever. Mm-hmm. All right. There's nothing else in here? Uh, no, it is just that cylinder in that chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it just that to lever. be a waste of time. Game design! <laughs> <laughs> I just turn to the frog and I go, congratulations. I lick my eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shall we continue? Hmm. Yeah, I'll make my. I'll check for traps further down. Okay, I'll take another. Okay. okay, I'll take another investigation check. Ugh. Mm -hmm. And actually, I don't know why I drew that circle on there mm -hmm. because I can do this Ooh. wow uh -huh. so cool <laughs> um ziggs you uh you see that there are um uh yulindor you're on your broom right yep okay um yeah ziggs you see another such uh plates similar to what you saw up by the chest and they seem to be in a position that is wrapped around by the red path uh, I, I think will, I probably oh go ahead I'll whistle and, and indicate and then I'm going to wait my way over I, I can't reach can I reach that to disarm it from not if wall? you're attached to the wall no mm -mm. Because you're three feet, right? You're three feet tall. Yeah, I'm only three feet tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, fuck it. <laughs> he can levitate. Right. I can just levitate him over the platform, or the uh, the squares in question, right? Yeah. Or not. Or not. I do a dainty yeah. little hop <laughs> over mm -hmm. the. Uh, did you tell me about it? Because I'm just sort of jabbing my, my ten foot. Yes, I told you about it. <laughs> he whistled and pointed. Okay. So, did I jab it? Hmm. 
do dainty little hop backwards. Uh, sure, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Acid splashes out in a wave only where Korra is. <laughs> so you jab it with your 10-foot pole? Uh, unless someone stops me. Okay. Uh, uh, the uh, That section of the floor, that 10-foot by 10-foot section, uh, splits, and there's two, two doors that swing open and downward, um, and you see a deep, deep pit that extends... Uh, 30 feet down into darkness and at the very depth of it just barely glinting from the light of the lantern and the light from his dagger you can see uh some some reflecting light in little tiny pinpoints making you believe that there are spears or spikes of some sort at the bottom cool there's spikes down there you don't say (laughs) people i'm gonna continue forward following the red path until I get to where uh, Yelindar is. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to flip down there and check it out? No. Um, if there's nothing, <laughs> if there's nothing valuable in the treasure chest, there's not going to be anything valuable in the pit of spikes. Actually, wait. You got the tech magic up, right? So maybe you could see I do. down there. Oh, or I see if anything is uh, light and detect magic. Can I see le- legit at the bottom? Uh, you see, you do, in fact, see spikes at the bottom. Um, they uh, they appear to be wet, um, but you do not detect any magic. I will carry on looking for traps down the corridor. Okay. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. Strum, strum, strum. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's right. I've got a liar, too. I, I what? Like you doing that. You liar. What do you have one for? <laughs> My background. Ah. So, Ziggs, by this that. point, you're familiar with what they look like, and you see the same thing again there. In this particular situation, it is uh, bisected by the red path. I will... Uh, make my way across the path onto this wall to disarm the Okay. Same check. Dexterity Thieves Tools. Nice. You are confident that it is that those doors are stopped. And then I'll carry on down the walk this wall. Okay. Poke, poke, poke. Uh oh. <laughs> And you reach the end of the hallway. Um, All right. The hallway extends forward, uh, and and you see that the red path continues towards the center of the hallway until it uh, splits and it kind of forks on itself. And there is an archway on the eastern side, uh, and then there is a carved face on the south wall uh, of a great green devil. Uh, Oh, good. That's not creepy. Right. Let me see if I have a handout for this. Um, it, yeah. Okay. So this is this is the compass on the map um, that you guys can't see because it's hidden behind, you know, non site. But but the it looks <laughs> like this, uh, that image. Um, the interior of its mouth is complete blackness that the light from your dagger and the light from the lantern cannot pierce at all. Um, and where's Adarius? You're still pretty far back there. Okay. And then the yeah, I'm with Cora. Okay. And then the archway um, next to you, Ziggs, uh, every so often, because you can't see around the corner of it yet, but every so often you see some, like, coiling mist uh, or billowing um, uh, fog, like, seep in along the bottom into the hallway from through that archway. Uh, But that, yeah, that is what you see. Um, cool. Am I still poking the floor, or have you stopped me by now? Mm-hmm. Sorry, say again, what did I say? Sorry? <laughs> I said, am I still poking the floor, or have you stopped me? I'm not 
stopped you. Okay, I've stopped. Okay. So that's <laughs> oh, I did. I? Yeah, that's terrible. Um, I'll continue following the path and catch up with everyone. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And this is disabled, this one here? Mm-hmm. Yes, yep. that's what the... Boop, the boop, um... boop. So well, Ziggs... The other one wasn't disabled. The other one's just a, a big gaping pit. So Ziggs, uh, Adirnus, go back for me real quick. Oh, sorry, to where? Um, Right there, perfect. Just hold tight there real quick. Right there, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Ziggs, uh, did you, I'm sorry, did you ask what I had said earlier? Yeah, sorry, what was down this, this archway? Um, you can't see around the corner currently, but you, every so often you do see some, like, uh, uh, just seeing if it has a color associated with it. Nope. Okay, you see some, uh, mist or fog slowly, like, billow in or, like, crawl in along the, the floor. Crawl is a bad word, because that implies sentience. Um, sort of just like billow in from whatever's around that corner into the room and then dissipate. Uh, and you can also see that the stones on this archway, uh, three of them have uh, different colors on them. Um, the left-hand base of the arch, so the base of it nearest Ziggs, uh, glows with a soft yellow glow. Uh, the right-hand base, so across the opening, glows orange, and the keystone above at the in the top center of the archway glows with a faint blue and i'll go ahead and mark the map with those colors just for simplicity's sake yellow orange and blue um Hmm. and then adernis yeah. Um, so y- Yulindar uh, is floating by on his broom, um, and he has yep. since pulled his 10-foot pole up uh, mm-hmm. and is just floating along. And then Adarnus is continuing forward, and once you get to about where you are now, uh, you feel the floor give way beneath you as two doors open, and you plummet 30 feet down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the I'm going to need a constitution. Wait a minute. Yeah, constitution saving throw from you, and you're a warforged, so are you immune to poison, or are you, like, poison damage, or are you resistant? I have resistance to poison, I have resistance to poison damage, and I have advantage on saving throws against poison. Okay, so, um, this is a saving throw for poison damage. Okay, so I have advantage. Okay, yep. 29. Nice, that'll do it. Um, You're outside of my plus four range. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, So that down the hole. (laughs) (laughs) So you are going. Don't think my aura can reach you. Uh, What is that? Mm. Takes falling damage, which would be three d six. Okay. So that's ten falling damage. Oh no, not my defensive field. That's uh, another 14 for the spears or the spikes at the bottom. Okay, that actually did hurt me a little bit. And then you're going to take half of this damage, which you are also resisting, so you're really going to take a quarter of this damage because this is the poison damage. Right, yeah. So like four? Yeah, four damage, four poison damage. So you just hear like, (laughs) there's no like scream, there's no like, ah, right? You just hear like the swinging of the doors opening and then a thud <laughs> and then you hear i appear to have found another trap <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Hmm. do not be alarmed and i'll start to climb up the side um while you are down there so oh, before okay. you get up and start climbing back up yep um Bear with me for just a second. One. <laughs> or slightly more than a second. Two. What's your passive perception? Uh, probably not great. Um, uh, 16. Definitely not terrible. Okay. Um, you're down there. You can see a small section of the wall appears to have been filled in 
uh, it is a different shade than the wall around it. And I'll go ahead and mark that mm. on the map. Interesting. Right here. I should have prepped a... Wait, would this have... Feather fall? No, I was going to say stone shape. Oh. <laughs> that would have been really useful. <laughs> Um, hmm. I think I might have found something. And is it valuable? <laughs> it's a wall. So no, yeah, not in its current state. And I'll uh, I'll just yell out like, um, Yelindar, can you toss me that pick? Uh, all right, yeah, I just dropped it. You gonna down. dig Why the wall? You integrated the pick into your. Your farm <laughs> I thought about it, but I decided not to because it's not mine. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> you want me to just keep it? No, um, that's fine. I'll drop that pick down. All right, I I pick it up and I find just a tiny bit of space to maneuver between the spikes, and I'll start chipping away at that wall. Okay, um, I will take an athletics check, and while he's doing that, are you guys doing anything else, or are you just going to wait to see how progress goes? I'll... Do you need help getting out? I will have. Uh, how how steep are the uh, the walls? Do, is there any handholds or anything? That oh I no, can nope. It's to? it's a straight drop. Okay. Um. Yeah, I may require help getting out. But first, I'd like to see if there's anything Steven. beyond this. It looks like the wall has been filled in recently. Well more recently than the rest of this stone. Mm -hmm. And I got a 28. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to clarify, because it's, I mean, it will yeah. take time, so I want to make yeah, sure that yeah, if yeah. anyone else wants to do anything, we cover that just otherwise. Together. Four, um, I have been keep, keeping track, but levitation was only for 10 minutes. Oh, sure. But I don't think we're at that. I no. It's taken that long. We will, it will, in the course of his athletics check, but... Well, he okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's going to take me longer than ten minutes to hack away at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So you all wait while he is chipping away at the wall. Um, and uh, you, it the wall is like this stone down here is a lot harder than any other stone you've ever encountered before, and it doesn't just give to way of the pick. You've made a couple of scratches and chips into it but you have not made nearly the progress that you would have expected. Mm. All right. Um, we'll need another method of breaking through this if we're going to see what's on the other side, but this You're isn't going to cut there. it. Huh? You're already down there. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Implying there's no other method of breaking through. Well, that just means, like, you know, is he going to want to go back down there at a later oh, right. point? Possibly. <laughs> In the meantime, I might as well head back up. Could you levitate me? I've got plenty of rope, or I could even send the broom down, but I'm really comfortable here. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'm... bring the rope. I can climb. Okay. Can I not peer around this corner of this this archway? Yeah, yeah. If you want to, certainly. Is that okay? Yeah, without um, getting my head uh, through. It opens up onto a small room, um, and this room, it the first thing you notice is that it appears to be covered in that mist and fog that's kind of uh, coiling and billowing and and shifting around itself. And every so often there's a break in it that you can see like the other walls and you can get the sense that this room isn't very big. Um, but it is like this room is covered in, in that mist and there doesn't seem to be, you can't tell where it's coming from. You can't tell um, like what's moving it. If anything, it just seems to appear and shift and uh, break about every so often, but uh, yeah. And actually, Ziggs, you um, are the one who's made it all the way down that red path. Uh, and you've been investigating the whole way, so I'm going to share another handout. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Once I find it. Oh, there it is. 
this is going to be in your journal, Dave, so you can view it in there. Um, but you realize that you see writing along the red path. You've realized that a while ago, but it, it didn't make any sense to you until you made it all the way down and you were able to like combine all the writing together. And you see that it's one long message. And so I just added that to oh. your journal. Okay. Aserak congratulates you on your powers of observation, so make of this whatever you wish, or you will be mine in the end no matter what. Go back to the torment up or through the arch and the second great hall you'll discover. Shun green if you can, but night's good color is for those of great valor. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice, aught but a loop of magical metal. You're well along your mark. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall, so check the wall. These keys are these keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands of what will more. If you find the false, you find the true, and into the columned hall you'll come, and there the throne, that's key and key. The Iron Men of Visage Grim do more than meets the viewer's eye. You've left and left and found my tomb, and now your souls will come. And I just shared it with everybody as well. And in fact, I will add it to your journals so that to all of your journals so that you can yep. view it at your leisure. Yay, journals. <laughs> Sacrifice all but a loop of magical metal, you're well along your mark. So two pits along the way. Was there two pits after? The... No, there's. Hmm. We found at least. Yeah, we found four pits so far. Um, Adernus, you still. Ha How long does detect magic last? Uh, ten minutes. Oh, okay. Um. Perhaps the poem saying that two of the pits lead to something fortuitous. Yeah. So check the wall check the wall and as you can see the wall down here is there's something beyond here so that's what that passage is trying to say mm -hmm. uh, these keys and those are most important of all beware of trembling hands and what will maul okay. did the uh, the hands on the um the jail the painted jail move at all no they were they were part of the image painting. okay huh um have we tried like, that opening was, like that? back here yeah it was pretty close to the beginning. the i can mark on the wall where that oh, is yeah, that'd, be, that'd be helpful oh, just like to backtrack and investigate it this is the jail door um this was the there was the box which you found already this was the image of the library and there, this is where that herbalism desk was that I described. Where was the box? I don't see. That. Oh, I didn't. I didn't draw it. Um, but it's. I it was. This was the, uh, the box, oh, box the was library. right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, so I'm investigating the door, uh, looking for secret doors. Okay. Um. It's all this entire. It's on the use of this. <laughs> <laughs> this entire wall uh from the opening all the way down to where the rest of your party is uh is covered in plaster and it is solid and there are no cracks in it um so you do not detect any any hidden doors in that plaster both sides of the wall or just that side uh just that side the other side is bare stone there's no imagery at all I'm going to check for secret doors here where this trap is. Okay. Make my way back to the... Uh... Um, can I climb a rope? Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed they already got you up. Okay. Yep. Um, Ziggs, you do not spot any secret doors.
well. Leave. Read, read, read what. Read the description for this again. This was what the. That was the library, which looked like what. The uh, the library. Um, I think it. Let me get back to that description in just a second. <laughs> I remember hybrid creatures, but I don't know if that was library. That was all before the library. That was out in the fields and in the forest. Um, okay. A library filled with many books and scrolls. Uh, the door of a torture chamber with torture devices viewed through the wa the bars, which are grasped by blue hands. Um, a wizard's work room and a brewing room with potions and bleeding herbs. And the so is there no color apart from the blue hands in any of those pictures? There's color. Um, yeah, no, like the uh, like the image I shared with you about like the chest, like those animal figures that were holding up the chest were all like there's color all along the walls and the floor. So the blue hands weren't necessarily um, stand out because they were blue. So. And there's no other pictures past this this. Uh, herbalist one. Um, there are more interior pictures, uh, but they don't appear to be anything with as much detail as everything before that. Uh, there's like one that looks like a chapel or a sanctuary of some sort. There's one that looks like a, a, a jail cell or like you're looking down the hallway of a jail, um, that sort of thing. But the everything from the herbalism section north uh, is markedly more detailed than everything that's south of it. Okay, what did color you... is for those of great valor. Yeah, what did you say about this one? Sorry. Did you mention, mention any color? No. It, though they were bleeding, yeah. Are they bleeding a certain color? Red. Oh, it's just red. Wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, the colors that I made these aren't indicative of what you see. I just picked three different I just picked four different colors that were easy to tell apart, so I don't know if we can call orange a state of red. <laughs> I mean, there were people working in the fields before before the first thing, right? You said it was people yes. working. Um, where the arch? So the only arch we know of is the one with the with the light, the lit up stones, mm -hmm. and the tormentor. We do not know what that refers to. I'm guessing the tormentor is the door that looks like it leads to a tortury kind of chambery place. I literally could not roll better and did not find it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree <laughs> but i'm just saying um these, uh, these, and, mm. zigs uh as you move back to that archway and you realize that when you moved away uh the light grew fainter and as you approached it the light on those stones um slowly starts to uh increase in intensity yeah, right. so, and the yellow one specifically, like the one you're closest to, is glowing just a little bit lighter, or a little bit brighter than the other two. Push it. Push it. Um, while they're checking this out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, to each of these pits and peer down uh, using my lantern and try to find which one, which other one, if any, has a wall like the one that I fell on. Okay. Um, the two of them, the one up by the box and the one you're in front of, were stopped. Mm -hmm. So right. they're not open. Yeah, um, I'm going to... You're going to force them open. open. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to okay. force them open. Okay, and then uh, I'll take... Um, I'll just take one perception check. Sure. Nice. Uh, yeah, you're confident looking at all three of those that you have found um, that they are solid walls all the way down. Knowing, Especially knowing... 
um, mm. what kind of to look for after you saw the other one up close. Um, you don't see anything like that at all in any of those other pits. Hmm. Perhaps there's a fifth pit. I'm going to... I'll lend you my ten foot, well, one of my ten foot poles. I've got five yeah, of them. Yeah, loan, yeah so he, <laughs> he, he loans me a, a ten, foot, ten foot pole, and I'm going to start poking around like all across the whole okay. area looking for a fifth pit. And there you go. Ah, Success. Right. <laughs> so that one, uh, uh, the doors swing open uh, as you're poking it with the with the pole, um, and you see much like all the other ones, a thirty foot drop with spikes at the bottom. Uh, and again, you do not see any sign of any other exit or entry. Damn it. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, I'm going to check out. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Check out the whole sure. the whole length of the corridor. Okay. Using my stop. 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 Go oh, back oh, to. Sorry. Right there. Perfect. Um, oh, never mind. Keep going. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you are out. Hmm. Go back this way. Nothing. Nothing. Huh. You feel confident that you have checked. This, the floor of this hallway and have okay. not found any other pits. Uh, perhaps right outside? No, we would have found it. All right. My donkeys would have found it by now. Yeah. I'm assuming all of your donkeys are still outside. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I, yeah as part of the camp, off. I've... I've okay. uh, yeah. Just want to make sure you weren't bringing them in with you. Well, well <laughs> it's tempting. <laughs> I do want someone to carry all my gear. Right. Well, maybe I will bring one donkey. We'll just uh, have him far back. He's okay, gonna... sure. Okay, so I'm going to hop down to here. Mm -hmm. And then? And then? <laughs> uh, I'm going to touch the yellow the yellow line. Okay. You touch the the base stone on the on the left side of the archway um and the yellow light glows to an intensity that it hasn't reached before. Um it's it's shedding uh bright light in probably about 10 feet. Uh and then you realize that the light stops like it holds that intensity even if you back away from it. The other two are still dimming and growing in intensity but the the yellow one is now holding. What have you done? <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump up and touch the blue one. Okay. For blue okay. hat. Athletics check. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, it. Uh... I'm standing <laughs> <jump. laughs> That's true. The frog. <laughs> um, the blue one does the same thing. I'll side eye the warbot. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'll kick the orange one. All right. Um, I all cringe. All... Like, like something's going to go <laughs> off. All three lights uh, uh, glow and grow in intensity, and then they all um, immediately die and go out and turn back to the same colors of stone around them. And then after a moment, the mist and the fog starts to billow outward, uh, pouring out of this archway, and it ends up enveloping uh. you. Uh, zigs, and you have this moment where your heart's racing and you're not sure what's going to happen um, and it swirls about and then dissipates, and you're staring at what appears to be an empty stone room that is roughly about 13 feet deep and 10 feet wide. Okay. As in the room directly ahead of you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I thought, he, I, thought <laughs> I got teleported or something. <laughs> check the floor of this room for traps okay um with that 10 foot pole uh you don't you don't get anything i'm so, oh, i'm sorry you weren't using a pole were you roll me no. an, roll me a you, since you're not in the room i'll actually take a perception check okay since you're not able to get really close and examine stuff is it the same bonus there oh slightly better um, yeah, you. it looks like just a bare stone room. Hmm. A room carved from bare stone. 
<laughs> favourite type of star. No. Um, I'm going to move into the room by walking along the wall and start looking for secret doors. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself in for me. Is it perception for secret doors, or...? Uh, I'll take investigation now that you're actually, like, hands on the walls sort of thing. Nice. Okay, just a moment. Um... So... Ziggs goes around the corner, uh, and he is checking the walls for secret doors. I care to go. Uh, I got it. Just a sec. Um, <laughs> uh, and then everyone, you all get this sense of like a shift in air pressure. There's like this uh, small um, burst of air that comes out of the that archway where Ziggs disappeared around. And you don't hear anything, and even if you were to go forward and check around the archway, that room is now completely empty. And Ziggs... If you look back to the northwest, kind of by where that first entrance tunnel that you guys found, you should see yourself there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe that room to you that you suddenly find yourself in. Did you see? Did you see your? You see your token? Yep. yep. Okay. All right. Um, uh, this room is small, and it holds what appears to be a statue of a gargoyle, eight feet tall, with four arms. Uh, one of the arms is broken off and lies on the floor in front of the statue itself. And then there's a path or a very narrow corridor that leads um, southeast out of that room. Am I in the middle of the room, or am I still like clinging to the wall? You would, you would probably be about, yeah, about, um, aligned with where you were in the other room, essentially. And that is the gargoyle, correct? Right? And the archway behind me is gone. Yes, you appear to be in a totally different room. I call out to the warbot that we've already had our first fatality. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It was just a frog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm actually gonna... I mean, I'll follow. Like, I'll go into that room. Okay. Let's all go it, together. To, to us, just it to just looked sure. like he walked into the room and then disappeared. Yes, yeah. Like, yeah. if you if you go forward and look around that arch, it just looks empty. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to step through. Okay, I'll need to know everybody's marching order for you three. Let's uh, let's hold hands. <laughs> I do have a hand free. Um. Yeah, so I. He has like the big thunder things, like a uh, like yeah. the Terminator armor. Yeah, yeah I have space, I have one. <laughs> I have a big like I have a huge ass like tower shield in one hand, and then just my fist in the other. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer like. If one person went through and tried to come back, because well, we don't even know that you can come back. He, well, we have no idea what happened to him. Yeah, he could, what happened to him. He, he <laughs> could have, yeah, just been. He's dead forever. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but if, if if this is a trap, we just want to go straight into it. As opposed to what the that donkey. That is my purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'll move out of the way and gesture to the donkey. Okay. I'm not your donkey. Yeah. <laughs> my, my donkey has all my equipment. He's not going in there. I'm going in. You're going to go in? Okay. I go in while they're arguing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Just a sec. Okay. Uh, Adarnus disappears. And then reappears. Do you see yourself, Matt? Uh, 
No. I'm back at the uh, entrance. Correct. Oh. I, I just call out, like, I'm back at the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wait. The lights aren't. Are the lights doing anything? Uh, nope. They're the same color as the stone around them. I'll do the, the left, top, right. Okay. They Four. light back up. And then what? Now I step through. Oh. Oh, yeah. You're going to go down and step through again now, Idris? Yep. yep. Okay. Now that it's... Just push the lights the are right lit. Button. <laughs> then what? Um, yeah, so you just run through again? <laughs> he just yep. charges in. Um, so, Ziggs, you are uh, still trying to get your bearings, and then you end up like turning and looking over your shoulder and seeing this seven-foot-tall Warforge standing next to you suddenly. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. And Cora and Yulnador, um, you would have noticed that, um, that now Adernus does not appear at the entrance of the tunnel. Figured it Sass, out. Right? <laughs> That's what we wanted to have happen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to we get got, rid of we them. got rid of the tank. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm asking, uh, I'm asking it. It during, it, it, it'll not die. Uh, I don't have any treasure, otherwise I'd, I'd probably be up for it, because, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, the good news now is that the donkeys can at least, we have enough to ride them all, you know, ride them back. <laughs> Uh, fine. I'll push the buttons and then go through. Okay. Are you doing any convincing from all of you? <laughs> Still not fun. There's no treasure in this room. room. <laughs> and then I step in. <laughs> At least all as far right. as we know. <laughs> we just left all the treasure behind. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll press my buttons and throw the donkey through. Press the buttons and go through my. Oh, you're putting the donkey through. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Got all my equipment. Oh, for some reason that token didn't take. So let's. What equipment? That. What what do you, can you not carry? Uh, let's see. I've got a battering ram, which is thirty five pounds in and I'm of itself. I'm sorry, you've got what? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a big log. That's amazing. I can't wait to use that. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. you're clearly gonna make me do. It. Dude, down at the bottom of the pit, you should use the battering ram. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, duh. Yeah, you should have just dropped it in after. With a mining pick Once you heard that there was a fake wall. Uh, oh well. This is what happens. So, what do we do now? Uh, so are we trying to find anything cool? Frogman? <laughs> no. Uh, also, I don't have control of my token. I don't know if that. Oh, matters okay. Right now. Just a sec. I am getting something else set up real quick. So if you just want to bear with me, uh, bah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, giving me a donkey. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a the donkey. Very important. Very mm-hmm. important. Donkey A. Uh, and I'll even give you control of it. But since you did force it through, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that we're tracking it. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, since you forced it through, uh, it's upset at you and it doesn't follow your commands. <laughs> that would probably be more realistic, but. Um. Well, I mean, I guess I'll do a perception check to look around this room. Okay. Well, there's, yeah, there is an opening too, right? Yes, there is a path. Yeah. There is a tunnel leading oh. southeast out of here. Well, then I'll follow it. Okay. Like a smart little warforged. And by little, I mean three hundred and seven feet of tall. Pure yeah. Steel. Yeah. I'm gonna stealth the wall and then take a peek. Okay. All right. Oh, I think these are coming up asking for advantage. Uh, it should not be advantage. Great. Okay. No. Okay. Um, so, Adernus, Adernus, uh, the path leads forward for about 20, 25 feet, and then it abruptly mm-hmm. ends in a solid rock wall. Um, mm-hmm. And 
Korra, you sneak along behind him. And... <laughs> Sorry, I have to reference like three different sections of this <laughs> at once. So you passive is supposed to be like the lowest possible you can roll. <laughs> is it higher than 25? Uh, oh, well, I mean, my passive stealth is, no, my, my passive perception is 22. Oh, perception. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I got those yeah. mixed up. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. They, they came out in the wrong order uh, <laughs> or I entered them in the wrong order, but anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so Adarnus, you get there and you're like, huh, huh, it's a dead end. And Cora, you get up there, you're proceeding behind him, right? Yeah. Okay. You get Creeping up behind him the wall. and you can see that there is a, um, there's a crawl space uh at the end of the hallway uh it's kind of hidden like based on the way the light is hitting it it would mm. be easy to think it's just a shadow that's being cast but you can tell that it's an actual crawl space leading to another section of the tomb and that would be straight east of Adarnus's position mm -hmm. can i have a search of the gargoyle statue? sure yeah go ahead i'll take uh either perception or investigation it's up to you <laughs> a donkey Okay. What's the donkey's AC? <laughs> Probably nine. You have plate. <laughs> or barding. You're wearing enough gear that you can't actually see the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> you just see four legs under a bunch of packs. Um, okay, so you can tell that... Uh, Um, the broken arm off of the gargoyle is a clean break uh, just below the shoulder. Uh, so there's three arms that are attached and one of them that has been broken off. Uh, there's no like extra pieces or, or anything like that that chipped away from when it was broken off. It looks like it was just sliced uh, almost like, uh, you know, cheese with a knife. Um, and you can tell that uh, all of the hands uh, are open with the fingers like in a grasping formation. Um, and you're pretty confident that, like, uh, if you had, like, an orb or a gem or something like that, uh, you would be able to fit them, slot them in there. Um, and actually, you got a perception of 16. What's your background, Ziggs? Far Traveler. Far Traveler? Okay. Um, yeah, you're thinking that, like, gems of value, 100 gold or more, would probably be big enough to fit inside of those hands. Um, well, I don't have any gems. Hmm. I mean, would it be safe to assume that in our accumulated remaining remaining wealth, we might have some gems? Since wealth is often uh, represented. Uh, with I would say... Shouldn't be really common. It's just that it appears, you know, limits the supply. Artificial mm -hmm. scarcity. No, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Cora just starts spouting off about the dining industry. Uh, I apologize. Just a moment. I am just making sure about something. I just cracked myself up and then did a spit take. I can't believe I'm <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, are, are you here or did you step away i'm here mm. i said I, I said i apologize i'm checking on something real quick before i answer that question okay. got it um i would say that yeah you guys uh i'll let each of you roll a d4 to see how many Whoa. such gems you have as usual <laughs> How many hands were there again? There are four arms. Three of them are attached. One of them is detached. Would you like to do the honors, Casey? Oh, you learned our all size board game. Of course he does. No, I don't. Uh, I, that was an incorrect. I'm oh, rolling he... the number four instead <laughs> of a D4. 
Ow. What? My floor. Floor equals four. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Still. <laughs> yeah, no. say, that's fate. That's a really easy way to, to just roll whatever you want. And just type the number. <laughs> and I'm like a D4, and you just type a four. <laughs> Get it. Roll 20. Crit. <laughs> Um, are we going to put the gems in the hands of this thing? No. Huh. It seemed like a bad idea. <laughs> what are you scared um, of? Um, uh, an eight foot tall stone gargoyle with forearms. <laughs> I take offense to that. So has everyone like revealed their gems? Like what, what we're thinking about? <laughs> like you all you all see that and, and he, he says, yeah. I think gems will fit and then you all slowly take your gems out and look at them. Yeah, that's that I mean that's, okay, that's I, was kinda, what I, uh, I was gonna mage hand one of someone else's gems and then <laughs> just kinda move it towards the uh but a seven is not gonna most likely not going to mage hand you know, be sleight of hand enough to uh to do that before someone closes their hand. Right. No. Yeah. Let's have a look at this crawl. How big is this crawl space? Yeah, go in the hole. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's it's small enough. Like it's it's you. You're what three feet tall. You yeah, would like probably eight. yeah. You'd probably be able to crouch and move through it. Anyone else would have to get on all fours. A uh, Darius, it's questionable. Like if you'd be able to fit all the way through because it's not like it's hey, not an that's even. That's why I've got. That's why I've got enlarged reduce. <laughs> It's not an even uh, carving, like it's it's jagged and it it cuts around a little bit. So try to light down there and see if we can see the other end first. So yeah, what's the donkey supposed to do? Mm, be <laughs> a donkey. A <laughs> <laughs> Did donkey A just turn into Rathens? <laughs> Welcome to the Tomb of Horrors, donkey. <laughs> the... You said he this got right enlarged. Yeah. Right? Where are the real monsters? <laughs> <laughs> that's great um okay so uh you gotta use your large reduce on the donkey <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah, how I you do mm-hmm. yep um so you shine a light through and uh you can see a hallway that uh looks similar to the one you were in before but it's definitely different you don't see any red path along the floor um wait yeah the uh yeah, the floor is all tiled, um, tiles of different colors, not as brightly colored as the other one, and they don't reflect the light quite like the other one did, uh, but it seems to extend um, north and south, at least beyond the edges of the crawl space, so. I'll be right back. Sure. Right. Yep, that's fine. Uh, check for tram. Uh, where are you checking? In the crawl space. Okay, I'll take investigation. Nice. Uh, you don't see any. Then I'll crawl through. Excuse me. <laughs> and then peek up and down the corridor. Okay. Um, okay, <clears throat> just a second. I'm going to reveal to the north, and then I just want to check something before I reveal to the south. Just to be sure. Okay. Um, and you have a light? Yep. Okay. Uh, and you can tell that the hall it continues to extend to the south um, beyond how far your light can reach. You can see a couple of doors on the west wall. Um, and uh, along the, the sides, like the walls of this hallway... Um, Floors inlaid tiles, the wall and ceiling are uh, are smooth. Um, <laughs> okay, and you see along the walls are globes uh, painted. They're 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 showing as like physically there, but they're actually painted on the walls. That just shows their location. Um, but yeah, they're painted onto the walls, the east and west walls. Um, and straight across, you can see a pale blue. Uh, globe uh, a silver one um just south of that is painted at the, like the bottom of the hallway the gl the blue one is at about uh probably about five feet up um and then so on i can i could describe the rest of them but i'll wait till you actually go out into the hallway so 
I'll check the floor in front of the crawl space for trap. Okay. I'll take another investigation. Uh you yeah, no, you you are you are confident that there are no traps there. And these are all different colored paintings on the wall, you said? Yep, they, they're they painted to look like three-dimensional spheres, uh, but they are on the walls nearest um, where they're indicated on the map. So they're shown on, they're shown like on the floor, but they're actually on the wall. Mm. The, okay, so the blue one, like I said, the pale blue one is about five feet up. The silver one just south of that is, looks like it's resting on the floor. Um, the gold one in the northwest corner. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, <laughs> I missed something. They're painted on the wall, but they're painted as if there are figures holding them. So there are actual individuals, like humanoid figures holding these globes oh, okay. up of different races. So oh, the, the pale blue one is being held at about shoulder height. The silver one is being um, held lower to the ground, close to the floor. Like a the, bowling ball. Yes. <laughs> it actually looks like he's bowling. <laughs> he has one arm outstretched. And um the gold one is being held high overhead, so it's towards the ceiling of the of the hallway. The orange one is held at about waist height. The purple one uh is being held like the silver one, um, down at their feet. The green one is being held high overhead. And the yellow one is being held at the shoulder. And then the hallway continues to the south. So, so far on this side, this is blue is shoulder, mm -hmm. floor. Mm -hmm. Then green is above head. Yellow is shoulder. Yep, shoulder, floor, um, high, and then... And then shoulder, going south. And this side is above the head. And then what's this one? Um, which this one? One's above, this one's above the head, right? This yes. top one. This yes. Is, right? And then this one is? Uh, that one's at the waist. And then purple is at the feet. I'll write this down. Uh, yeah. I scoot into the room. Um, I would like to re ritual cast detect magic. Mm, okay. And then just have it active and look at all of the spheres. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna move further down the corridor and search for traps. Okay. Um, I'll take. Uh, I'll actually take. Because you're checking like the walls and the floor, right, Ziggs? Yeah. Zig. Okay. I'll take. Uh, actually, a perception check from you for that. And. Uh... Oh. Nice. Okay. Oh, damn. And a dareness. Um. Detect magic, but whatever. Sorry, Matt. I am checking something real quick. I want to make sure I do this right. It's all good. Okay. Um. Uh. This hallway. Uh. Is. Uh, yeah, you do detect multiple points of illusion magic. Hmm. Um, and how... So detect magic, that actually, like, the object that is magical radiates an aura. Is that right? Yeah, so the way it works is uh, it's kind of twofold. First, I get a sense if there's magic around. Then when I, like, look at something and it's magical, I it gets, like, an uh, like a colorful aura around gotcha. it, and the color corresponds to the school of magic. Mm 
Okay, then... Uh, yes, then you can tell that... Um, yeah, you, you're able to tell that there's magic in this hallway. Um, and when you kind of, like, focus in on it, uh, like, for instance, you look as Korra comes through the crawl space, uh, mm -hmm. you look to the crawl space and you can tell um, that that crawl space is not visible from this side. Like, the wall just looks like a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, and, in fact, you can see, like, oh. a, a purpley outline where that crawl space actually is, where Korra comes out. I want to write... So it's it's uh, likely that this is not the... And I'll say this out loud. That this is not the intended uh, route that one would take to get to this room. That we might have found some alternate route. Yeah. I'll write in shock, like, what pointing happened? towards the crawl space. Mm, okay. So the, the crawl space that we came out of is magically obscured mm -hmm. uh, via illusion magic to look like a normal-ass wall from our side. Oh, I see. Yeah. So poor Donkey's like, duh! <laughs> yeah. The, you, hear, you hear it nice. softly, like, hee-hawing over there. I don't know what the it's, verb it's is. It's contained in a nice, warm, comforting... <laughs> Enclosed yeah, room. Tomb of horrors. You know, <laughs> the... Very comforting. Uh, I, uh... Okay, I'm gonna make it... the only time this will ever be used. Animal handling. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh god. Donkey, do you trust me? Before I get an answer, I'm gonna polymorph it, it into a gerbil. Oh my god. Polymorph? It's gonna freak That's out. Huge bell. I got slots out the ass. Okay. <laughs> this is right. the most this, this is the most magic I've ever been able to do and we're never going to play characters these level again. Uh okay, just a sec. Yeah, so it's pocket size now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. it's also freaking out. <laughs> Cuz you rolled a 1 on your animal handling. It's like, oh my So God. yeah, so you, you polymorph it. The, the donkey can make a con save if I freaked it out too much. To you, po <laughs> you polymorph it into a uh, um, you polymorph it into a gerbil and it immediately starts scurrying around and running around. Um, so it doesn't go towards the crawl space. It runs back into the room, um, squeaking like mad, just like looking for some some way away from you, essentially. <laughs> Get me away from him. Why am I hearing squeaking back there? <laughs> it's all good. We're all good back here. Why am I not hearing control. my donkey? <laughs> it's still here. You're hearing a donkey. You're just, you know, it's not making not a... donkey sounds anymore. <laughs> well, okay, well, we know that there's... Uh, knowing that there's only one way in and out of that room, apparently, I will just rejoin the others. Okay. <laughs> and I can maintain... Yeah, it's going to be a gerbil for an hour. So, <laughs> at that point... It will either come along or it will stay there. Why don't you just it, put it in your pocket along with all of it, his? It lyrics? ran off. Oh wow! Yeah, it uh, ran off as soon as I as, I, as soon as great. I polymorphed it. <laughs> okay, so I'm you gonna go. Good job. Yeah, your go. your your gerbil. I mean, your donkey is back in the other room. If you want to go get it, I'm gonna... uh, and then I just come back to investigate the rest of this stuff. Okay. <laughs> so I I guess I'm doing gerbil handling while this. <laughs> Uh, it's still an animal. Your animal handling skill will still so be... Uh... Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Um, Nick, none of, none, of the, none of these orbs are magical at all? Uh, no, they're just paintings on the wall. Um, so they're not, they're not resonating with any, uh, any right. colors. And is, is the bottom there? Is that like actually the bottom nope, of the Nope, the hallway continues. So if okay, you're moving... I'd, I'd like to continue walking down, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep an eye out for uh, mechanical traps. Not I thought you were about to say ones. for gerbils. <laughs> oh no, I know where the only gerbil is. Gerbils. Yeah, there's <laughs> only one gerbil, and we know where it is. Oh god. Uh, passive twenty two percent. You're looking for mechanical traps, you said. Uh, yeah. Since I, you know, I don't think detect magic would reveal stuff like a pressure plate or whatever. Right. It would. It necessarily would Unless not. Unless it's magical. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay, A. I love that he's talking to the gerbil yeah. with the name of A. Uh, um. Yeah, you do not. You do not see any. Yeah, a fourth any... level slot is a lot to a paladin or something. <laughs> so, where is this sphere? 
Okay, so the, yep. So now we have more spheres. Um, the yellow one I said was held at the shoulder. So continuing down the east wall. Yeah. The pink one is held high overhead. The this one is black and it's held at the feet. And then there is a pale violet one that's held at the shoulder. So overhead, feet, shoulder. And then that's, that whole wall is symmetrical. And then over here on the other wall, we have um, a bronze orb that's held waist high, and a gray. That's, that's, that's that one. Yes, and a gray orb that's held at the shoulder. So this um, whole wall is symmetrical around this one, right? So that that one is shoulder, and it's put the. The two at the end of shoulder, and then it's the two either side of the middle one is head height, and then the penultimate one from each side is. That is that is correct. Uh, the hallway does continue on. Have we, Have... along our route that we've walked, crossed a hypothetical line but connecting any two orbs? Do you catch what I'm saying? Where they're matched. Yeah. The it, West Wall is the only one that has waist height walls, and none of them have lined up to but match. We, but we, yeah, but we would have we would have walked through like if when we went like from here to here, we would have crossed a line between the two. You know what I mean? If you were to draw a line, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 okay, okay. Adarius, I yeah, you looking at him, I can confirm that none of them yeah. match height yet, like across the hall. I'm gonna yeah, search. Yeah. I'm yeah. coming down this corridor. Okay. I love the B plot going on right now. Um, okay. <laughs> Just tripping a little. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, you don't see uh, any any signs of traps. So can I see past the end of this? Yes. Yep. I'm gonna reveal more here. Following along. What are, what are these uh, uh these on the left? Here? Those are doors. Oh, those are straight up doors. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, oh I, Jesus! I left off with violet the color. violet one, right? The pale violet one. Okay, so we'll continue down the east side first. We didn't leave enough fucking space on this bit of paper. <laughs> <laughs> There's more orbs than you thought. The wait, don't no, don't. Okay, do, okay, do not. okay. Shut up. <laughs> Proceed. Okay. The red orb on the east wall is held at waist high. Um, the beige orb is held at the feet. And the indigo orb at the end is held high overhead. Um, and then on the handling. <laughs> And then on the south wall uh, is a stone archway similar in appearance in appearance to the one you saw before. Um, and you can see uh, it is also filled with cloudy vapors, uh, but you do not detect any um, sense or any you don't you do not see any light shining from any of the stones. And then going we'll continue going south, but on the west wall now. Um, the snake because then i could just automatically be friends with it <laughs> that's a note for future cora <laughs> um the blue the bright blue orb here is held at the feet the white orb is held high overhead the turquoise orb is held at the shoulder the scarlet orb is held waist high and the pale green orb is is held at the feet. Do these look like they're, you know, they move at all, or are they just outstretched? You know, they're all, up? nope, they're all paintings on the wall. Mm -hmm. so, Wait, so I need, I just want to line these up. Hold on one second. Sure. All right. Zip door. 
within its feet. And um, Adarnus, your detect magic continues to go off, signaling the presence of illusion magic in this hallway. Mm. Um, Looking around at all the walls. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> making sure I know exactly where, and then I will color them with a nice purple line signifying purple for illusion magic. I don't know why I think purple would be illusion magic, but... Sounds like a name. There's another... Uh, I always associate green with illusion because of Loki. Oh, sure. I guess I suppose that works, too. Well, I already got purple on there, so it's not changing. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there and there you see similar um, signs on the wall showing crawl spaces, uh, or at least illusion magic looking just like what you saw on the crawl space above, or to the north. Nice. Okay. Knight's good color is for those of great valor. What did you say? I'm thinking back to the Sararak uh, message. Oh. Shun green if you can, but knight's good color is for those of great valor. Hmm. What is knight's good color? Black? There aren't any black orbs, though, are there? Silver? It's yeah. one. Silver. Silver. Yeah. Silver. That's like a moon? black orb. This this one that's marked. Yep. Isn't there a silver orb, too? Like the moon? Knight's good color? There is... um. There's no s- oh, there is a silver one. It is the second one from the north on the east side. Hmm. Held at the feet. Well, possibly either one of those could be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Uh, well, do I, I, I'll point out the various, um, you know, uh, Crawl spaces illusions. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I would dispel them, but it seems like a waste of a spell slot. Right. Um, so we could check those out as well. And then I think we could also check out these doors. I mean, while we're here. Yeah, you have the crawl spaces, the doors, and the archway to the south. I'll search the doors for traps. Okay. Starting with the one that's opposite this, like this one here. Is that perception or investigation? Um, I will take investigation. Cool. Uh, no nice. Advantage. Although I, do, I guess I'm not looking for secret stuff, so it's not. You're looking, looking for, for doors. I mean, well, it, it matters for advantage for dungeon delver if it's specifically for secret doors. Well, this door is not secret. It's a literal. Yeah, it's, it's a literal door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Gosh, this is such a. This... Yell into the corridor. <laughs> Are you there? I'm sorry. I'm reading this. This room in particular has such a long entry in the. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> so I'm making sure I'm getting like I started just breezing through it like I normally do when I run a module, but now I'm like, okay, no, I have to actually read this this section again. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's like each orb has the. Form. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. not great. <laughs> um... you pick up the orb. It does this. If they push the orb, sure. Okay. Um. Yeah. You do not detect any any signs of traps on those doors. Hooray. Hmm. I don't see a, well, apart from that first, that first section. So everything between here and here, the pattern is like symmetrical. Hmm. That that's that doesn't happen anywhere else. It's not even like flipped, right? (laughs) 
find, find, the hole, you find the true, and into the columned hole you'll come. And there is the throne that's key and key. So the, these are the purples are the the hidden crawl spaces, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just triple checking. Um, mm -hmm. I will walk over to one and throw a ball bearing down it. Okay. Um, you hear it. It disappears through the illusion, and then you, you hear, hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it disappears through the illusion, and then you hear it um, rolling and rattling as it hits uh, a wall or, or hits a surface, and then you hear it continue to roll. And then it sounds like it goes around a corner and sounds like it goes, like, descends. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you lose, and then you lose, lose it. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> um, what do you think? Do you want to check out these crawl spaces or check out one of these doors? Or, or, you know, experiment with these orbs. I, I mean, do the orbs, do they look like they're switches or anything, or are they just paintings? They're just painted on the wall. I mean, this is a bit of a meta thing, but they have to do something. There's no way that they put that much detail into the exact positioning of every single one of these fucking orbs with it, without it being important. Look, man, it was the 70s, okay? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, you're not wrong, but also, come on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I, I mean, but I'm fine. I'm fine exploring one of these other rooms for now. First. No. Okay. Well, I mean, okay. If we were gonna push is, one. Wait. Of the is orbs. this one? Is this one right here? The uh, the black one. Uh, yes, it is. I say we go down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm leading to the ball bearing, bearing down. down. I think. What'd you say? That's the one I threw the ball bearing down. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. I think that's, yeah. Oh, nice. The inspiration. He's committing what so hard to so. it, and he's stayed yeah, out of all yeah. discussion, so. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he has to use the inspiration to roll his animal hand. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I fit in this crawl space, or do I need to, like, reduce? <laughs> no, you can fit. Okay, let, me go. Okay. let me go first. Can't you, uh, can the Warforge still change shape? Or was that part of the UA? That it, like before they were official race. That pretty they could, like, sure they their cannot. Size? I do not have that ability. Okay. I think they but can I change do... their armor, but they can't so physically change their size. As yeah. an armor, uh, yeah. So you can incorporate new pieces into your thing, but also yeah. as an armor, which is not a Warforge thing, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. I can swap between my like guardian armor suit or an infiltrator armor suit. Oh, you can change it. At, I can change it at a long rest. Yeah. And uh, the infiltrator suit has, uh, what is it? Um, the, it has some kind of laser gun. Uh, yes, but it also has. Uh, uh, I guess it's not really that useful. Never mind. <laughs> I, I thought it had something for squeezing, but mm. I just I'm wrong. Oh, like the thing from Wolfenstein Two, where you, you yeah can fit through pipes. Yeah, but no, it's just it. You don't have a disadvantage on dexterity checks, even if it's heavy armor, mm. which is cool. And you get plus five speed, and you get repulsor blasts, a la <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is interesting. <laughs> but no, I like having my force field instead. Okay, then you have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the gerbil climbs into your pocket. I'm gonna start crawling down the the crawl space. Okay. Check in, okay. check in for traps as I go. I'll take a. We'll do a perception check. Okay. Um, you're pretty confident that you don't see any traps as you head into the crawl space, and you see that it goes forward about 25 feet before it turns hard to the right, and you can tell that there's a slow descent. The whole way. How high is the ceiling? Um, that's a good question. Let me look that up for you. Uh, 
Um, the ceiling in here is, uh, this is about a six foot ceiling. Uh, Casey, I missed what you asked. The other illusioned crawl space and throw another ball bearing. Gotcha. Just to make sure this is not like looping in a horseshoe or something. Oh, sure. Um, so <laughs> you, you, you roll the ball bearing through, it disappears through the illusion. You hear it yeah. roll forward. Um, uh, you hear it roll continuously further than the one you threw down the other one. Um, yeah. But then it hits a surface, and then it hits another surface, and then it sounds like it comes to a stop. Okay. All right. Come back to our crawl space. Oh. <laughs> of course. So it can it turns south, and then you can see that the it's southern. It's still sloping downwards, right? Still sloping down. Yep. And it turns back toward the hall you were in. I'll call back. I'll whistle back there. It's safe. Okay. What's safe? This crawl no. space. We, we <laughs> have another magic tunnel. Yeah, you want to hurry up before your gerbil becomes full size in a crawl space. <laughs> it lasts an hour. And Is it a one, concentration? The polymorph? Yeah. It is? Okay. Just it, yeah, it's for an hour. The fuck. Hang on. I got, I got you. <laughs> Um, move this to the map layer. Boop. Oh. oh! So it goes under the hall. Wow. Cool. cool. Oh, three oh. dimensions. <laughs> and you can, can you see. Can imagine? Sure, go ahead and roll. It's like it's like the first time that you ever went up a staircase in Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, whoa! Dude, you do not see fast. anything. Any signs of traps? <laughs> is, so is every our frog guy? I was gonna say, is or everyone just letting him go? Gonna... Oh no, I, I'm following. I was gonna go okay. last. Yeah. I just, I just want to make sure I know that you guys are behind him. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I was definitely gonna follow right behind. Okay, okay. Still no signs of traps, Sigs. Go for it. Still sloping down. Check again. Okay. Uh oh. Still no signs of traps. <laughs> Armor, you go first. <laughs> again. Okay. Is this the kind of slope that we can? Up. Yes, it's it's pretty gradual. Um, still yeah, no signs. I, I, would, I would think that we would be physically sliding if it were the case. You can walk up the slide. I'm definitely checking this one. <laughs> still no sign. Okay. Are you like checking his work, Cora? I'm searching. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, you see the same stuff he did. No signs of yeah. traps. And Ziggs, uh, you see ahead of you, uh, the tunnel ends in solid stone with a small ball bearing sitting next to it. Damn it. <laughs> I will go and check for secret doors. Okay. Uh, I'll take perception, and you can go with advantage. I'm still stabbing everything with uh, my 10-foot pole. <laughs> Working it. This dungeon's reputation precedes it. <laughs> um, Ziggs, you are confident that there is a secret door made <gasps> to look just like the stone around it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Check it for trap. <laughs> I wonder Whoa. how many times we're going to say I check it for traps this game. I mean, he'll, he's like got to run out at some point. Oh. They can't all be trapped. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do not detect any traps on it. I will very carefully open the door. Mm -hmm. All right. It opens in to whatever lies beyond, and I'm going to reveal that to you. 
um, and then describe it. So those are the steps necessary. That right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, big room. Um, you see what is obviously some form of tap temple or chapel area. Um, there are scenes of normal life painted on the walls, uh, but the people appear to have rotting flesh. Uh, skeletal hands, worms and maggots eating through their skin, uh, stuff like that. There's also depicted various religious symbols of good alignment all around this chapel. Uh, there's a mosaic path leading between four rows of wooden pews that all face south towards the worship area. In front of the pews, there's a wooden railing that divides the room, and then south of that railing is an altar in front of a tiered dais on which sits a wooden chair. And that's all that you can. That's all of the detail you can make out from your current position. Sit in the chair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Not Leon Kennedy. Um. All right. I guess we all crawl through. Probably the uh, the next step. Of, uh, <laughs> epic, you know. Um. Is that body on the ground there actually a body on the ground? Uh, if you guys move further south, I will continue to yeah. describe. Let me get to like if you can get to like the second. Piers. Turn back on my my aura of. Um. That's my aura of seeing invisible shit. Okay. And I'm going to make it to, like, here with my lantern out, holding it in front of me. Okay. I'm following the robot in the <laughs> steps of the robot Wait, step. One, one more step. Two more steps. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now the, now the body is within bright light. So, Adarnus, uh, you, this is what you can see. The chair is nicely carved and padded, but otherwise seems unremarkable. On either side of the dais are large, freestanding brass candelabras... Uh, each holding five white candles. In each corner of the southern wall is a white pottery urn, stoppered with brass and w stoppered with a brass and wood plug. Um, and then sprawled on the floor near the west wall is a human skeleton in black chainmail that is badly rusted and damaged. The skeleton's outstretched arms point to a stone archway set in the wall. The opening to that archway is filled with opaque bright orange vapors. Hmm. I'm willing to bet that archway is dangerous. <laughs> um, I want to examine that pot. With the, the with the stopper. Okay, there's there's one in each corner, so of the south wall. Uh, I'll examine this one on the, on the left next to the okay. skeleton. Now. And I do have pottery tools because, of course, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what are pottery tools? Are you talking about you've got like a wheel? <laughs> uh, oh, why don't you look up the tool set in the book compendium? Are we gonna start doing some ghosting. <laughs> Here, pottery <laughs> tools. I will link it into the chat. <laughs> Never mind, it says nothing. It just <laughs> says it's a, it's, an, it's a type of artisan's tools. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Here we go. It does say it. How do I how do I just add this to chat? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Um they seem to be unremarkable pots. Uh Opening the stopper, is there anything inside? Uh, no, there's this puff of dust uh, as you disturb the stopper on the top of the pot, uh, but otherwise okay. you peer inside and it's empty. I thought it might be useful. Never mind. I'll set it back down. Way back, since there was a door at the end of the hallway, and I figure, I mean, I guess I have a geometric understanding. Of so I'm sorry, what are you... I, I'm looking for a door that leads since we came through like is this a you know glamoured wall again or a, the crawl space uh, is the well, crawl space are... illusioned or not um, we have descended a bit right you have descended uh, the, the inside of the door you came through uh, mm -hmm. looks like a stone door so mm -hmm. you can tell okay. that it's a portal on this side okay Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> now nobody touch anything, and then as soon as I say that, uh, Adernus has lifted the lid on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and look at this altar thing. Okay. Um, the centerpiece of the chapel is a block of strange material that glows with an inner light of opalescent blue. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. So it is, it is faintly glowing. Indeed. <laughs> I want to look at this skeleton. Uh, He's dead, Jim. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> he might be dead. Um, you he are con out. you are convinced that uh, he has been down here for so long that there's no way to tell how he died. Mm -hmm. mm. But he is dead. I have yes. <laughs> you are certain. Good job, Cora. Cora. These things? Who's who takes medicine? <laughs> um, those are the uh, freestanding brass candelabras, each of which have five white candles. Not lit. They are unlit. Correct, unlit. Um, do we want to light them? And these are like giant sofas. I right? tunnel, and I say, yeah, let's light them. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the wooden pews, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to light one. No. Yeah, go on, go on and light it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you light one of the candles. Um, and no! <laughs> uh, and there's this brief, tense moment of pause, but nothing seems to happen. All right, I'm going to light the other four. Same thing after each one. Okay. You're scared of oh, nothing. Not light the <laughs> other one. Uh, I'm going to look for the throne thing. I'm going to look over the throne. Okay. Yeah, uh, it is. It's a large chair that is padded and cushioned. It does not appear to have any kind of decay on it, which is odd. Um, but otherwise, you don't see anything remarkable about it. Wobba. <laughs> yes. I wander over here and sit in the chair. You know what's weird is that he doesn't have a circulatory system and he is not immune to poison, but you do have a circulatory system. <laughs> I'm basically a bag of poison. <laughs> I will sit in the chair. Okay. Um, you can feel the wood creak beneath your, <laughs> your immense weight uh, and it it shifts and, and uh, um, like settles in beneath you uh, but it holds and other than that nothing happens I just turn like slowly my head turns to face <laughs> Ziggs and he, and he says it is not comfortable <laughs> Cora what's your passive perception my passive uh, yeah. 22 okay um, I should have said this a while ago but I didn't realize it until now. Um, when okay. you would have moved back to that position, uh, yep. you would have seen, uh, you guys didn't see it when you're coming down because of the positioning of the pews, but you can tell that the, the benches of the pews, the seats, are hinged um, on all eight of them. And you notice that as you were going back north. Oh. Uh, if I want to investigate that, I guess that's a roll investigation. Yes, that would that would be the role. Yeah, it's Generally weird speaking. how it lines up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll finally, a decent roll. 
Um, you don't see anything that would lead you to believe that it is trapped. Huh. Are the, these pews aren't... We can, like, push them, right? Uh, yes, you could. I'm going to start pushing this one. Um... It's, like, against the wall. Let's okay, so you start to push it. I'll, I'll take an athletics check. Okay. Uh, oop. 15. Okay. Um, so you start to push it, and you feel that there is uh, more resistance than you would expect from a wooden pew sitting on a stone floor. Um, it, Pretty big. It, yeah. Uh, well, and it not resistance like heavy, but like almost like there's something in the bottom of the mm. pew that extends into the floor. Okay. Um, do you continue to push? Yeah, especially actually feeling the resistance. Now. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll push even more because I, I'm feel, I'm thinking like maybe there is something under there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so you force the pew um further, uh, and you, the, <laughs> this all kind of happens at once. Um, you hear a like something, uh, break inside or under the pew, and then suddenly the lid of the pew which would be the bench um explodes and there's this splinter of splinters of wood go everywhere and this billowing green gas starts to just pour out of the pew uh, <laughs> i leave did you find something <laughs> okay i found something so <laughs> so adarnus um yeah you're a warforged Indeed. I'm going to need a constitution saving throw with advantage. Wait. You're immune to poison, right? I'm not immune to poison. Okay. I just have resistance to poison damage and advantage on saving throws against poison. Okay. He's immune to disease. Right. Yeah, I'm okay. immune to disease. Yeah. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw with advantage. 23. Um, nice. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, so you, it has, this gas has no effect on you. Um, but it is filling the room and it does not seem to be stopping. Um, let's see if I have... Uh, I'm only going to leave this door open for a little bit. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. Um, I, uh, we're going to just treat this as initiative. Um, mm -hmm. we're going to say that, uh, we'll just go top down. Oh no, we'll go bottom up. So we'll start with Ziggs. Um, so, Ziggs, what are you doing in response to this exploding pew and gas quickly filling the room? Uh, um, well, it's poison, so you're fine. Yeah. 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 I will... Um, oh, shit. <laughs> how, big, how big are these urns? The urns? <laughs> They're... <laughs> You, you could, one. if you're asking if you could get inside one, uh, it's big enough to hold you, but the opening is not big enough for you to get into. No. Uh, we don't, we don't know it's poison, though, do we? Um, I mean, uh, you see I mean, it kind of wash over me. probably started coughing or something, right? <laughs> no, it did no damage to me. So you see it like no, wash over me. No, but you still have to struggle. No do Warforged breathe? Uh, I don't need to breathe. Yeah, he doesn't he chooses have a circulatory to. system or like he's like a, a golem, right? Essentially. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, a, I'm a golem with like with like life force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can be I can be healed through like magic because I have like a soul, I right. guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um uh I'm gonna do I'm running back up here. Okay. Adernus. Um, I'm going to since uh since I'm the closest and it's not affecting me as much, if at all, I'm going to search the, like kind of the the part that I broke off and see if I can plug it up or fix it or something. I see. Um, like the it, like. Wait, you, you the said that these the stoppers, the lids of the urn were clay, right? The lids of the urn were brass and uh, brass and wood oh, plugs. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, you inspect the wreckage of the pew, looking for some like thing that you might be able to plug up. Um, but the explosiveness of the of the trap triggering, and the fact that it seemed to occupy the entire in interior of the pew, um, you don't. It's it's basically there's a bunch of of holes that this gas is billowing out of there's not one singular thing that you can plug and it's all coming too fast for you to feel confident about doing anything about lie on top of it <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's bigger than it's longer than you are at all i'm joking all right well uh, hmm. oops i guess <laughs> Okay, is that an understatement? Okay, we're gonna treat that as your action, Adarnus. So, Cora, yeah, yeah, to, say, no, to okay. sit down on them? No, to in investigate no, so switched, it and see. Yeah. Around, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, aside hmm. from that, I I can cast a spell that will protect one person <laughs> from the poison, but I don't know how useful that would be. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at uh, my magic stuff. Hmm. Uh, so this might introduce its own problem, but... Um, oh, good. Summon greater demon. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so I'm going to point a finger at the pipe and uh, pluck a string on my harp, and the thing's going to light up, uh, and I'm going to heat metal, and so it's going to be glowing red hot. And I will look to everyone else in the room and say, uh, someone smashed the pipe shut. Because now it's, you know. Hmm. Oh, because now it's malleable? Yeah, that's the yeah. idea. Okay. Sure. Uh, so, unfortunately, that takes my concentration. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the, the donkey is going to unpolly more. <laughs> <Francisca>, oh. <laughs> Um, oh my god. There's this moment of explosiveness as a donkey suddenly bursts forth <laughs> from Yolindar's yeah. uh, pouch. Yeah, I, I don't think they're far enough in the tunnel that like it crushes him or whatever. No, no, no. It does ruin that jacket. Yeah. <laughs> and that joke forever. Yeah, don't worry. My donkey has at least five other pairs of clothing that I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, Cora, I'll just need a constitution saving throw from you as well, because now you are in the... Is it poison? I'm yes. immune to poison. Oh, you're immune. Okay, can't... never mind. Yeah. God, why are we worried? What? Like one of us who can like, be hurt by this. Well, no, you can still you can still be poisoned. You're just I'm you know, not half worried. as likely to, to be poisoned. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, if you wanted to sleep or whatever, you so, have to keep re-upping. If, if you guys are tackling this, I'm gonna close the door. You can knock when uh, <laughs> when, when you're all done. All yeah. right. <laughs> okay. So he closes the door with Ziggs on the other side. Um, well, no, Ziggs, if you want to come in, that's fine. I, I mean, you're right here. No, I'll stay in the room. Okay. You stay in the room. Okay, I'll close the door. <laughs> um, I like to imagine. No, no. That Oh, go ahead. I'll feed. I'll feed A some of his uh, feed while he's sort of stuck <laughs> in the corridor. <laughs> um, okay, so the gas is now. It's fully uh, covering the room, or I'm sorry, the floor, and it is rising now. Uh, so it's probably at about a uh, waist height by the time round two begins, uh, and it's quickly filling. Um, so Ziggs, what is your action? I'm going to crawl along the walls looking for. I mean, that's the only way out, but there's no... I'm going to crawl on the wall, look for a secret door along here, above okay. the... Okay. I will take a... Yeah, perception check. Nice. Um, okay, so you don't see anything there, but as you continue south... Uh, moving along the wall, uh, you find a small slot uh, directly across from the archway that's on the west wall. So it would be about... Yep, there. Perfect. You find a small oh, slot right. with the letter O faintly traced above it on the wall. Uh, what do you mean a slot? 
Uh, Think like a coin slot. Yes. <laughs> is it what? Well, this is like the vibrating bed at the motel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. sorry, just a moment. I'm reading this one more time. A character who inspects the eastern wall directly opposite the archway finds a small slot with the letter O faintly traced above it. Oh. Okay, and oh, and then it says Get this it? is then it, it's in it is instructing me to read the next section. So, oh, that's never good. <laughs> read subsection three, paragraph two. The wall slot is of sufficient size to accept a coin or a disc-shaped gem. Oh, uh, uh, give it some money. We'll throw a coin in. <laughs> We, we care. Yeah, we all it's care. It's like a vending machine, but it's only <laughs> vending death. All the pews begin to vibrate. No. Um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> what kind of coin are you putting into it? I'll put a gold coin in. Okay. Um. You put the gold coin in, and uh. Uh. Suddenly, there's this shifting in stone, and the uh the section of the wall below that slot begins to sink slowly into the floor. Uh, revealing a crawl space beyond. Oh! Um, and then as as uh, that stone is going, you can see that the slot... I'm sorry, the slot is on that piece of stone that's descending down. Um, mm. And so then that gold coin uh, is then sealed into the floor. Right. But, yeah, that's fine. But... Yeah, I, fi <laughs> I figured that was fine. Um, a piece of string to it or anything. And I will reveal... Uh, in here then, I guess. Sure, I'm gonna sure. ch check, yeah, check it for traps and make my way through. Okay, I'll take perception. Bam. Uh, yeah, you do not detect any traps. So, Adarnus, what are you doing? Um, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll head in that direction. I mean, it seems like the best, I mean, I could do the thing with the pipes, but I don't know how well that'll work. So yeah, I'll dash and just run into this crawl space. Can I fit? Yes. Cool. So if that's a dead end... Oh no! No, I'm sorry. Ziggs went in and he sees that there are stairs going down. So yeah. Uh... Mm. So Cora. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. So I'm looking at a, a red hot molten pipe. <laughs> Yes, you are. It's spewing poison gas. My team has abandoned me to lead <laughs> to go down a staircase that I don't know where it goes. Um, and now we have the donkey again. Yes. Yep. You have correctly summed up the situation. <laughs> yeah. Uh... The altar is still glowing faintly blue. There's still a stone archway covered in opaque orange mist to oh, the I, west. I missed that the altar was glowing. Did that start once you sat down? No, that no, was, was, Ziggs, was always doing it. Yeah, no, Ziggs yeah. noticed it once he got close enough to it. Uh, would this be sleight of hand if I want to tie, like a slip knot and rope or something? Um, <laughs> to try and cinch shut this. Uh, hmm. This, uh, I would. So you want to? You want to? Your goal is to try and yeah. stop the poison. Yeah, try and seal the, uh, squeeze the pipe shut somehow, and and leveraging it with like a really tight, you know, using rope to, to do like a mechanical thing. Since I sure know that I can, you know, not die upon exposure right. to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm assuming your goal is to do that before it fills the room. Uh, I guess. Because yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you if you can breathe in it fine, 
um, I would say that there probably isn't a, like, you could just spend time on it, you know what I mean? You wouldn't necessarily yeah. have to roll. Mm -hmm. But if your goal is to do it before it fills the room, then I would say I would take a dexterity, we can say thieves tools. I'd be fine with that. That's bending it a little bit, but that's fine. There's no, there's no like ropes, you know, like use ropes or whatever. So, yeah. Is there actually? I don't know that there's a macro on uh, Beyond Twenty for thieves to or for I tool had, proficiency. I had, I had to make a custom skill to get it to do thief tools. Oh, there's interesting. a way. To, there's a way to do it. Uh, if you add thieves tools well, to, it would be an expertise, and it would be off of uh, decks. So if I just did another dex thing with save. proficiency yeah so if you're trained with a dex save just do a dex save uh well i don't have expertise on dex saves i have expertise on thieves tools oh but you yeah. dexterity and add your proficiency bonus uh, after rolling or i mean i've got i'm just okay <laughs> <laughs> i'll take we'll do that then uh which is a normal roll, and then we're gonna okay. Well, plus wow. four or no, plus five at this plus point. Five, wow, yeah. yeah, you're able to um seal it. Uh, at first, there's like you you get it to the point, and then there's some like still seeping out, so you have to spend a little bit more time on it. But you're you're confidently able to seal those pipes. Um, and it's the gas is probably up to the shoulder, and and uh, and that's about where you stop it. I oh, shot yeah. it. Perfectly safe. <laughs> I dropped the gas. Well, that's my my turn. Yeah. Uh, this order. Well, and now that the gas is stopped, uh, we don't have to worry about initiative and everything. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it is still in the room, though. It is correct. Does it seem to be going anywhere? Uh, I mean, it's slowly seeping into the crawl space and everything. Where is that zigs opened up? Um. Uh, Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going out here and yeah i like I'm the wall 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 in the hall. especially because this is just an illusion oh this was a real door mm. yeah that was a real door all right so yeah so yolinda you hear cora shout that the room is safe oh uh, okay uh so well, I asked them to knock, though. Hmm. Um, so I don't know if it's the real Korra or not. <laughs> <laughs> At no point in this dungeon has there been any risk of, like, doppelgangers. What? <laughs> Do we know of? I I love I love the idea that you're like, all right, it's safe now. Like I solved the trap that was killing us, and you're like, but how do I know it's the I real just, you? <laughs> it's a trap if it's exclusively because of the course of action that one of your party members took. I I think it's like one of my favorite jokes of like all time is when it's like, um. <laughs> It's like two people who don't look alike fighting, and the <laughs> third person is like, "How do I know which one's the real yeah. one?" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, <laughs> now what? Uh, you tell me. No, you, <laughs> you, you tell me. No, I, I want to continue uh, exploring this crawl space. Okay. Well, it's not a crawl space. It's a hallway. Uh, like it was a crawl okay. space that opened it was into a, crawl a hallway. Crawl space that became a hallway. Yep. I'm mm -hmm. still mostly right. You you right. Uh, I'm heading down here. Okay. Gotcha. Um. So it uh, it extends south and then uh, goes west for about forty feet and then it ends in a door. I will go to the door. <laughs> Ziggs. All right. <laughs> Perhaps you would like to examine this door. Yes. The, the door does not appear to... Yeah, the door does not appear to be trapped at all. I back up. Oh, I back up, I fate. You may enter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I shouldered check it okay Bonk. it swings open 
and reveals another 20 foot space and then another door. Um, Adarnus. Yes. I am going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Dex save. <laughs> did you walk? I the I, yeah, I did step in. <laughs> I, uh, I got a two. <laughs> nice. So. Nice. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, as you step in, the floor beneath your feet opens up into a pit, and you go falling for another 30 feet. So you're going to take fall damage, plus spike damage, because there are spikes at the bottom, and then I need a con saving throw with advantage against the poison damage. <laughs> it's the same thing. It is. Uh, right. So here's the fall damage first. Nice. 26 okay. on the con save. Okay, so 14 fall damage. Um, 12 from the spikes. Okay. And then the poison is half of this. Scruffy donkey head. <laughs> or no, it's a quarter of this for poison damage. Yes. <laughs> so three. Three. Yep, I'm glad we're all immune to poison. <laughs> <laughs> so that's um, 29 so damage once, total. Yeah. Mo like, my force field blocks the impact. The spears hit me. And then the poison kind of just a teensy bit. And then so once again, there's like a thud. And then you just hear, I am all right. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggs, you probably heard the exact same sound effect play that played in the hallway when you guys entered. Yep. Like someone dropping a, a pile of plates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you hear like, because I found a secret. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Throw me a rope, please. I throw the rope down. Okay. Climb up. Without right. holding the end. <laughs> Yeah, how you're gonna have to tie that to something because you're not gonna lift me. <laughs> Where is the donkey? I walk back, scream, donkey! I don't know if the donkey is gonna do it either. You need like three people holding onto that thing. So, Cora and Yolindar, you guys are, I know you're taking care of your reunion in chat. But... Very important. Yeah, I open, I open the door. Okay. Uh, I just say, don't breathe in too deeply, but I guess it's all right for now. <laughs> Um, okay. yeah, I think I'll, I'll still have you Lindar make a con save against the poison, but I'll have it be with advantage because it's not like covering, you know, it's, it's very easily like it's chest high and it's going down, but it's still occupying the airspace. So, sure. Oh, um, <laughs> that's how it insane. You Lindar, you are poisoned for 48 hours. <sighs> Thank you, Cora. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. That's... Good, uh, good friend. I think... I, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think I've got lesser resto somewhere around here. I, I've got lesser restoration. Okay. As well. We all had that. Uh, Are you like shouting that up from the bottom of your pit? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my when hand, my when... hand is just wafted out from this cross back, <laughs> back killing the dog. <laughs> yeah, wait. So, is this is he gonna have to get polymorphed again? Oh yeah, the donkey's not gonna fit in that crawl space. Oh. <laughs> hey, also, what crawl space? The one going from the oh, chat. Right. Okay, I'll just, I, I, I'll just. I, I, I... Oh yeah. Okay, the the pit is thirty feet down. Yes. I'm going to cast Enlarge on myself, <laughs> and I'm just going to climb out. Okay. I mean, Enlarge <laughs> only makes you, like, you're eight feet tall now. It it doubles your height. Okay, yeah. Eh, I guess I guess that works. Yeah, I guess you can do, like, a chimney shift. Yeah, I would say it, even, right? yeah, yeah, you'd be able to get like, out. I don't know, with, it, with my height doubled, I could just, like, stand. Oh, wait, what am I doing? No, 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 no. I'm not casting Enlarge Reduce. I'm casting Jump. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, perfect. Right. One time yeah. in 2020. That, that yeah. Was, like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm casting jump on myself, and then I'm going to jump up, and then I'm going to jump across. Perfect. All right, you're in front of the next door. Um, when oh, Donkey... I, was, I was just going to jump from, like, here to, right. into the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just in case there was a second pit. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, like, oh, you're, you're going I, past that space. Gotcha. I guess, well, I guess I know now that there's no pit, so I'll just do it the, the not stupid way. <laughs> Okay. Can, I, can I hear this going on down the corridor? You'd probably hear him like jumping and landing on the stone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Also, um, when the donkey <laughs> struggles with the donkey, when the donkey is exposed to the poison gas, um, it dies. <laughs> it's gonna get like. I'm so terrible. It's really weird. I don't. I don't have. Uh, I don't have the stats for a donkey. But uh, um, it's weird because like Monster Manual has like all the other critters, but not Donkey. I'm just gonna we're gonna do a con save plus really one. We're gonna say it's plus just one. Give so. it the stats of like a pony. I'm just rolling a d20 and adding one. Nope, it is poisoned as well. He's right. an ally it's within ten four. feet. No, that's plus four. Yeah. Oh, plus four. Yeah, hang on. So, uh, well, whatever the uh, the Alindar, uh aura is. Yeah, right. it's plus four. Okay, so <laughs> spurred on by Yolindar's, um, <laughs> by him taking the poison, uh, Donkey A is surprisingly fine. Yolindar's mere presence. <laughs> uh, uh, did you want it to be poisoned? <laughs> did I want to be poisoned? No. no did you I didn't. Want it to be? Okay. I go and look at this door, and you know, since I'll look for the lights or whatever. Sure. Um, okay, let me get back to that page. Hang on. Um, just as in the other two locations that you saw, this is an archway with opaque orange mists swirling beyond it. Hmm. Um, yeah, the skeleton that's lying on the floor has one hand outstretched towards that archway. Uh, bu -bu -bu. The stones, yeah, there's no glowing stones on this one like there were on the other one, though. Okay. okay. Uh, ball bearing. <laughs> oh, I had wax. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, to seal the pipes. <laughs> seal the wax. Yeah, from a thieves' kit, I yep. guess. Um, uh, or maybe from that stuff. Whatever. There's also the candles in the candelabra. Mm. When you're ready for me, I'm going to open the door down there. Okay, no! I, I'm going to take care Why of this not? moment with Cora. Um, you roll the ball bearing in, and it you hear it hit the far wall, and then after a couple seconds, it rolls back out to you. Well, that's ominous. Like, I'm sorry, like it hit, like you rolled it in, it hit the wall and rolled back. Not like it, uh -huh. not like it was rolled, not like someone yeah. rolled it back. <laughs> Why it's just in there, yeah. Yeah. Six, just crawl along the wall to get to the. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't want you. He's dealing with you guys. <laughs> yeah, all right. I've got twenty-five foot standing jump, so I'm just gonna boing. Hmm. So where is everyone, Cora? I they guess go they here? went through that tunnel. Uh, are, are they still alive? Are you guys still alive? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, still alive. How do I know it's really you? <laughs> What's something what? only the robot would know? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Robot, say something boring. I I, I I launch into a long history of like how <laughs> how I was forged and how I served in the <laughs> wars of the and I just go on. Yeah. <laughs> just, I guess that settles things. Go check the door for trap. Oh wait, did he open it already? He opened it. He said he was opening it. So I, I'm gonna I... check the floor for trap. All right, I'll take a perception check. I already watched the pit open in front of you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is not donkey sized. Uh, well, did someone say they could do enlarge reduce? Because that I can. Do you that really only want the donkey to come with you? How are we going to get the donkey to jump across the, like, 10th pit? <laughs> if it's small, then we can just carry it. Oh. Yeah. 
But, but first, you have to bring it over to me. Uh, well, oh, look, I oh, saw the, so I saw the donkey riddle last night. Like, you guys deal with it this time. A, do- a half-sized donkey is like the size of a German shepherd. Who wants to jump across the pit? <laughs> <laughs> German shepherd. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to leave that donkey behind. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you bring a donkey? Why? Because it's comedic value. <laughs> well, that's true. It was pretty good when it turned into a gerbil and then ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I. It's one thing that you brought a donkey. You, you didn't just bring a donkey. You brought a donkey with sentimental attachment. You <laughs> named your donkey. You named donkey. <laughs> hey. I'm just asking for it to die. Hey, wait, why don't we send it through the... Uh, maybe the orange doorway goes back to the entrance. It can't be any worse than leaving it to starve to death in here. <laughs> uh, you're got, you are the guys leaving it to starve to death. Excuse me? He's going to stay How and starve to death with it. You don't make it out here. You've left four of them to starve to death outside. No, they got their feed. They're good. No, they're, they're all posted up. They're fine. Yeah, yeah, this is the one that's going to have this story to tell. To all the other donkeys at the I was going to come back bar. and be a level 2 donkey surrounded by other level 1 donkeys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and disable this trap. Okay. Dexterity Thieves tools to wedge the... Yeah, you're confident that you have wedged the panels shut. They should not I'm open. Leap across. Okay. I kind of step on it like with one foot, put all my weight on it, make sure it works and then i'll walk across okay it works and i'll check this door for traps investigation uh you are confident it does not have traps exactly what he would say if it does have traps. <laughs> exactly <laughs> Opa, open the door yes sir right. So if you guys aren't going to help my donkey out here, so you guys need to carry his stuff. <laughs> Hand it to me. Yeah, so yeah. I, I go back and I retrieve hundreds of pounds of shit from the donkey and I just walk with I, it. I hold my hands out expectantly and then as soon as you move to hand anything to me, I just let them pass and go on my way. <laughs> no, I, just, I just grab it all. I'm pretty sure I can carry it. What? I mean, there's at there's least one battery. There's pounds of stuff, so... How much? How many pounds? About five hundred, four hundred. Uh, of what? What? Could... You look at encumbrance <laughs> rules. As as. Do you count as one size larger? Is it? Well, I think he does. I think I think the Warforge does count as one size larger. One one of them might. No, I'm I'm still medium sized. I can't uh, actually carry that much shit. <laughs> He's like, I'll take it, and then he sees everything. He's like, No way. I'm, I mean, I could, I could take, I could take it. I would just be heavily encumbered. Yeah. Hmm. Which is not great. Um, I could take most of it. <laughs> take six and a half pounds. I'm or carrying just, nothing. <laughs> I'm just, just leave the donkey like up here. By the entrance to the chapel room, where it's nice and not poisoned. Ride the donkey to the poison pipe. See <laughs> <the> old. <laughs> Who has? No one has the gust spell. I mean, come on. <laughs> no. No, it's I know. Pretty... I'm joking. I'm, open, I'm opening, opening the door. Noticed. Okay. Because my fucking door opener is apparently busy. <laughs> yeah, apparently, it's trying to open a donkey. If you leave the 100 feet of chain that I have, probably. <laughs> 100 feet of chain. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what you don't? Make a, I'm taking everything that isn't stupid. Check in. <laughs> check in. Check in. <laughs> no way to know what is and isn't stupid until you know that if you need it or not. If, yeah, it, if it, you really okay. just have to take everything, it, I think. If it's like a one on the usefulness scale and a ten on the weight scale, I'm leaving it. <laughs> you, you can also leave the two hunting traps, so that's probably yeah. 
and the battering that's 150 ram. 150 pounds right there. No, the, and battery. the battering ram. That's we need a battery. We need to use the battery. Yeah, yeah okay. So that's like pounds. as much as the frog weighs. So if we just hold the frog like a battering ram. <laughs> Dainty hop, dainty hop. <laughs> and then around this corner is... It's this all black. Corner, yep, I'm getting there. Had to switch back to the oh, tool. Yeah. Um, the hallway extends to the north. Apparently without, uh, without change or um, markings of any kind that you can tell. I'll, I'll start searching for trap. Take investigation. Actually, I'll take... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, you don't notice any. Um, and for the purposes of this, we'll say that your investigations or your trap searching will go for the distance of 30 feet. Okay. Just to actually codify it. And I'll search again. Okay, go ahead. While that's going on, did we reach a resolution with the donkey and the gear? <laughs> yeah, I took... Uh, so my carrying capacity... I'm going to be encumbered. Okay. But that doesn't do too much. It just makes my movement speed a little lower. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to take like 180 pounds worth of shit from his donkey. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, going off like the most useful stuff. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, I do have a climber's kit, which he could use to get out of uh, those pits. <laughs> How many pounds is it? Well, <laughs> do anything that rope doesn't do. Yeah, it's got like shit that you can take into the wall. What are those called? Pittons? Pitons? Yes. Yes. Pitons. Anyway, um, yeah, grabbing some stuff and then I go. Okay. And then I'm following close behind. Woo! The donkey watches mournfully as everyone leaves it. And then it turns and saunters a little back into the chapel and then sits oh. down and. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably. Uh, and, then, and then it and then it wanders into this horrible orange death <laughs> vapor. I'll, I'll probably tie it to the. Uh, uh, oh sure, to the railing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it has its seed that it can eat and. Sure. I'll, yeah, I'll be back for you. And, and then we never be. saw it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back for you, and then Ron Howard narrates. He wasn't. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to check the secret doors along here as well. Sure. What for that? Uh, we can just do the same test. We can do. We can loop it all into one. I got advantage. Oh, you get advantage, though. That's right. So, yeah, we'll do separate investigation. Okay, nothing. I'll do another. Uh, still nothing on traps. Uh, still nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, you see ahead. Yeah, still nothing on traps. Oh, uh, still nothing on traps. <laughs> you see that the hallway terminates in a, a thick wooden door ahead of you. Um, and and you can see from this distance. There is uh, multiple points on it that's reflecting light near the edge. And as you sort of like creep towards it, you see that there are multiple locks and uh, bars and everything across it. There's many, many locks. You're counting at least 10, 12 locks on this door. What? That's a lot of locks. It's excessive. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Uh... I'll check for secret doors along this bit that I just did. Okay. Uh, you don't notice any. I don't like how far back everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they are all the way down there. Nerving. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check the door I'll, for trap. I'll, I'll follow. I'm following. I'm behind. sulking. I'm sulking. <laughs> okay, um so you're gonna you're going to get close to the door and investigate it for traps. 
Okay. Um, you don't notice any traps. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary be it besides the crazy number of locks on it. But you do um, hear the sounds of music. Uh, it sounds distant. Um, but you can hear music and you can hear uh, multiple voices singing um, coming from the other side of the door. That uh, is disconcerting. I mean, that, I, w- that I will start to open the locks then, I guess. Uh, can I assist him because I also have proficiency with these tools? Yeah, I'll take... Uh, so whoever has the highest skill bonus, make it with advantage. Um, I, got I have exactly 10 plus 10. I got 15. Okay, Float. then you do it. Float. Um, You are unable to pick the locks. What? You broke it! <laughs> I did no such thing. I saw and you I, break it! <laughs> and I launched into a detailed explanation of exactly what I was doing and why I was helping. <laughs> Float. Um, so, uh, real quick, um, Adernus, I see that you still have your aura on. Is that... What is that? That's my lantern. Okay. So, my... Uh, while I'm within the bright light of the lantern... Um, read exactly how it's worded um invisible creatures and objects are revealed or gotcha. visible mm-hmm. as long as they're within that radius okay good to know thank you yep um so anyway, you broke okay. it. <laughs> i told you i did no such thing stupid <laughs> um i could shatter it <laughs> hmm I, I mean, uh, uh, what's that thing? What's what thing? The rogue thing, where it's like, it, it, if I roll less than, it counts as a... What is that? What are you talking about? Oh, like you, how you can take like a natural 10 or a natural 20? Yeah, like, yeah. Because that was less than a 10. Reliable talent, yeah. You could treat a roll of 9 or lower as a 10. So that would be too higher. Does that help? Yeah, I guess I'm not following. What well, my roll was a 23. 20, 23 is actually 25. Oh, I see. That get me in the door. Uh, 25, um, no. Still ineffective. You broke it! I'm sorry. Uh, did you cast Lesser Restoration on Core, or did I? Oh, I, I have not yet, no. on. Okay, then I'll do it. Uh, did I miss anything? No, we went up to this door that has a million locks on it, and we tried, to, we tried to open. I did no such thing. We tried, tried to open door. it. We tried to open it, and uh, it uh, it does not open. I could try to shatter the locks. Uh, um, but you know that could be bad. I <laughs> now that I'm caught up, uh, I'll start. Mage handing some uh some thieves tools at it. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh well, that's not very good. Yeah, twenty five didn't do it. Well, that was a stealth check. Kinda... I well, I know, but no, it, that's it, it, tools of advantage. It, my thieves oh. tools have expertise as well. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah. Nope. Nothing. Your mage hand kind of gives you like a shrug, like what? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm cheap, I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, so, what did Thieves Tools wear, Adam? Bunch of stuff. So they have bolt cutters. Hey, <laughs> does the donkey have bolt cutters? The, the Thieves what Tools contains they, a baseball uh, bat. Yeah. I have a sledgehammer and pitten. We have about two minutes before I try to shatter it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, go yeah. for it. She says that she like runs <laughs> in the corner. That sounds like a good idea. 
And then a big thumbs up extends around the corner. <laughs> it, it is okay. I served with many cowards in the war. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! Uh, he he shouts from around the corner. How dare you! <laughs> I'm I, yeah, the no, corner. I, I, oh, I, you're I, not. I, back okay. up. I was zoomed in, uh, so I couldn't. Do you need so. me to back up here too? No, you're probably, good. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Yes. I, I don't remember how shatter works, though. So. Um, we'll find out. It yeah. actually does like flat damage, so we don't know how many hit points these locks yeah. have. But... We don't know. Yeah, depending on how many hit points these locks do have, it, it might do nothing, but it's worth a shot. Right, and this Captain. isn't an illusion. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Or magical. Mm -hmm. um, right. Well, or actually, yeah, actually, I didn't detect magic. That was say that was why magic. I clarified was because you have yeah. your lantern out. Let me let me detect magic. Okay. Well, doesn't the lantern reveal? Illusions? It reveals invisible. Oh, okay. So with detect magic up, um, uh, Adarnus, you can tell that the door. Uh, radiates an aura of abjuration magic. Oh. Okay, so I, I like, I lifted my hand like Iron Man, like I was about to cast mm. Shatter, but then actually he peers at it and kind of cocks his head to the side like an owl, mm. and then he, mm -hmm. he uh, puts his hand down and he says, hmm, let me try something else, and he casts Dispel Magic. Hmm. Um, okay, thank you for linking it. Yep, threw it up in chat. If it's a spell of third level or lower, it's immediately it just ends. Right. If it's spell of third level or higher, then level. I gotta make an ability check. Um, yes. So I will need an ability check from you. Okay. Oh. So it's a ten plus the spell's level, and it's my spell casting ability, which is intelligence. Um. Whoop. Oh come on. <laughs> Ineffective. I didn't laugh, but. It's the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, well, that did not work. I could try again, but I only have a few attempts <laughs> at that. Um, let me try that one more time. <laughs> okay. And I will once again extend my hand, this time kind of Turn like, your hat backwards first. It's going, yeah, yeah. I turn my <laughs> helm backwards. I just shift the whole thing. <laughs> so oh, now you're really staring, but that's your head. So you're staring back at yep. Yelindor and Ziggs now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, for the love of God! All right. Never I'm sorry. Mind. That's ineffective. Uh, Cora, can you dispel magic? <laughs> I yeah. yell down the corridor because you're like 300 feet away. Yeah. It is. It is. It is locked via magical means. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> how? Hmm. So. Huh. So yeah. Okay. Detect magic can tell you what school it is, but identify can't tell you the intensity of it, could it? No. I don't That's believe annoying. so. Identify. Yeah, Identify just tells you what magic is affecting it, so it would tell me that this is an arcane lock. Of some variety. Yeah, uh... DC is 10 plus the spell's level. Uh... Alright! <laughs> yeah, so if it's like arcane lock cast at level 8, then we're kind of hosed, but, you know... Yeah, but I've got jack-of-all-trades and... Yeah. Uh, did that... That just no. posted it. Didn't you have to, it? You have to post it like three times, that. yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't cast it. Uh, I don't know. Okay. You have to click charisma or whatever your um, skill is. No, I didn't cast it. Why is? It? I think what are you, the, yeah, what are you well, the macros fuck up. Uh, I am hitting cast dispel magic. That's not uh, what you want to do. You want to go to your main sheet and click on the spellcasting yeah. ability that you use. Yeah, it's yeah, just a raw... Uh, yeah, so this also has um, plus uh, two from uh, Jack of All Trades uh, half proficiency. Okay. So I can actually plug that in. So other modifier, uh, beyond 20. 
not have a damage. There we go. There we go. Oh, nice. That's way better. But that's because you didn't roll a one or a two. <laughs> Yeah, um, it would almost be hard to uh, not be better. It's almost like D20 has, you know... 20 sides, and they're different. all equally likely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The door yeah. shutters, but does not move. What? Huh, okay, guys. This might be throwing good magic after bad at this point. I give the door the finger. <laughs> oh, gee, you broke it. <laughs> all right. Well, I... Don't think we're going through this route. I'm going to backtrack and look for secret doors. Okay. Should I do a couple of rolls just to speed this up? I'll let you do one for this hallway, for like the north-south stretch. And then if you go beyond that, that's up to you. Ooh, nice. Yeah, and then I will check the next one as well. Oh, okay. I'm just looking at how close I had to get. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Um, you don't find any. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Shadow's not going to do the trick, that's for sure. Um, Let's go see the dog game. I mean, the, the check is 10 plus, even if it was a ninth level arcane lock. Uh, it might not be arcane lock. It could be closed with a wish spell. We don't know. <laughs> but it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, the maximum difficulty of the thing could was 19. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to peer into these, like, I'm going to set off this trap. <laughs> no, I, did, Sorry, I didn't tell anybody about it. I'm going to... Like, because this said this said about uh, two pits along the way. It didn't necessarily mean the same corridor, right? It's not all about that no, corridor. Sure. It could just be some two pits so, throughout yeah, the right. dungeon. Oh, that had to be about that main room or that yeah, that first hallway, I think. Right. No, because it comes the pits thing comes after the knight's good color, which was the black sphere we went through. So. Yeah. This is three pits along pits. the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So, so I'm going to set off the one that I didn't tell anybody about. But the... that would be the third pit. Yeah, I know. It, it didn't say the second pit. It says two pits. Long oh, long you're long right. Long. It's not a science. It's really an art. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you trigger the you trigger this pit here. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, the doors fall open. I'll um... poke my head in. Okay, uh, it's a 30-foot drop. Down below you see the spikes. Uh, and then I'll take a perception check. I'll, like, walk. I'll be walking back as this is happening. <laughs> uh, so, so we're done with this door? Is that what's going on? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we can't get in. Yeah, well, we, I we, we spent the actual nine screen. levels of spell slots on it, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. Yeah, go, if you have an idea, go for it, but I'm out. Hmm. Did, did anyone just try opening it? I mean, it's locked. It's locked. It has locks on it, sure. All right, try to open it. <laughs> so help me God if that's what it is. Um, That percent, that 14 is for you peering down, Ziggs? Must be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from the from the height, it's hard to make anything out, but you don't you don't think you can see anything specific down there. Then I'll check the other one, this one. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, so you trigger it. Okay, there you go. That one you're sure from this distance that you don't see that it's just solid rock the way down the whole way down. Boing. And I'll check this one. Same That's thing. the one I fell down. I'm assuming there's nothing down there. I will check the firm. Have fallen down it. <laughs> in that one? I'm sorry, what? Nothing in that one? Nope. Same as same as the second one. You are certain from this distance that it is solid rock all the way down. Jump back across. <sighs> Ooh. 
Let's go back to the orb hallway. I'm gonna Why? Daintily, daintily hop, daintily hop, Why? daintily hop. Uh, I'm gonna come into the chapel and uh, I'm gonna do fog cloud and see because you know see where the the fog expands because we didn't really watch all the gas dissipate. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, you didn't really need to see that. So you're you're just looking to see where it would. Yeah, if there's any other secret like cracks or whatever. Gotcha. Um, and also, I'm probably never going to need that spell from this thing again. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so it uh, it fills up a 20 foot radius and doesn't go anywhere. Does and it? yeah, it'll it slowly just dissipate. Like it slowly, like as you sit there and watch it, it will sink, and then mm-hmm. eventually just make its way towards the opening that the opening that you opened um, the crawl space down there. Uh, and then just it's pretty much completely gone by the time it gets over there. So. Well, last for an hour. But... Okay. Um. So I, well, over the course of an hour, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah, you get the sense that it's not seeking any other avenue of of escape. You know what I mean? Sure. Okay. Uh. Can I do passive investigation on the pews? Yeah. Uh, Twenty three. Mm-hmm. Anything? They're all hinged. Um, all of the benches open. Do they open. all have a pipe leading from the bottom to the... Uh... Well, that you can't tell with passive. Okay. Get down on my hands and knees. And... Uh, they're Look. flush to the floor. Like, they're, the hinge... Oh, they're yeah, the hinge opens up into a container that you would imagine would be the interior of the, the base of the pew. But then okay. that one that was pushed happened to be a trap, so... It happened to be a trap. Okay. Well, yeah, that's how that... Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, well... <laughs> I mean, do you want investigations for every single pew? If you want to look for traps, sure. All right. And I don't need every single pew. Just give me one. All right. Did Did you want me there to provide a anything save bonus? I can already breathe poison, so I don't. <laughs> if you want to be there for moral support, I won't say no. But well, I can feed my donkey again. He's a paladin. That is why he's here. <laughs> Uh, 32. So you can tell that the other southernmost pew, um, the hinges on it are fortified, much like the hinges that when you look at the wreckage of the of the one that was pushed, um, mm-hmm. th- they look the same. The hinges on all the rest of them are they look like normal hinges. Um, can I try and? Well, I mean, having hinges is not access to the trap, is it? Oh, I know. Okay. I would like to detach the hinges from the seat of the pew, if that's possible. From that, the southernmost one? Yeah, from the, the other one with, with like hinges. All right. Okay. I'll need a dexterity thieves tools. All right. Yes. Uh, you have successfully dehinged it. I moved the seat cushion off. Um, you move this, so you, there's no cushion, it's just wood. Or, you know, the lid. Okay, but... alright, just want to make sure. Um, yeah, you lift it up and you can see the pipes underneath. Um, they are not triggered because you've successfully disarmed the trap, uh, but you mm-hmm. can tell that opening it would have obviously caused it to release. Uh, is there anything in there? Nope. Cool. Great. <laughs> you did it. You mm-hmm. did it. Warbot. Is there anything in any of the pews? <laughs> yeah, I'm walking back. Uh, Are you gonna... Uh, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and... I mean, if any of them have... I'll, I'll detach the hinges from all of them if you want. Another okay. six Thieves Tools tests. No, no, no. That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you disassemble. We'll just do the one that's directly north of the one you're on. How about mm-hmm. to start with? Hey, Matt, is your jump spell still, still active? No, but What's I can that? recast it. You can jump past easy. Okay. The pew directly north of the one that you dismantled, uh, you mm-hmm. dismantle that one and open it, and inside uh, you find 2,000 gold pieces. What? Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh, well, all right. Five pews to go. I guess. And proceeding from there, 
Uh, mm -hmm. You check the one no, across. No, 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 no. Oh. I've, we've had we've had change in the seat cushions before. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one across the aisle from the one that had two thousand also has two thousand. The two just north of those have three thousand each for six thousand gold, and the two just north of those have four thousand each for a total of eight thousand gold. Just made bank. Oh man, how are we gonna get all this back? <laughs> the dungeon. Donkeys. Donkeys. He can't get back through the crawl space. <laughs> one more. I'm gonna have to polymorph it again. You're gonna have to polymorph it. <laughs> Someone's gonna. We're just gonna have to leave it. <laughs> mm. Um, can I detect magic on the altar here? Sure. I mean, I assume it's still up because it hasn't been yeah, that long. Yeah, it hasn't been an hour. Wait, is yeah. it an hour or ten minutes? It's ten minutes, but still. Mm, yeah, All we fine. did was cast a few spells on the door and then hop across. Mm -hmm. Um. More gold, I think, than anyone found in the the eleven months that Miris ran or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like in total. A dareness. Yep. You. Uh... It does not register with any kind of magic. But it is glowing. Correct. What is causing the glow? Some pain. Right. Stand back, I'm going to push it. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, then what, what do you want to do? I don't know. What's going on with this altar? It's not magical, but it's glowing. Uh... I don't know that anyone investigated it. Yeah, what? no one investigated it. I looked at it, and I just saw it was glowing. Right. Uh, well, Let's now it's it been out. investigated. Um, the altar... Uh... Yeah, it is a block of strange material that you cannot identify, and the material itself seems to be glowing with a faint opalescent blue. Um... Punch it. I'm just kidding. Knight's hmm. good color is for those of great... Yeah. Mm. This is after... Mm. Uh, I mean, is there... There's. That's all that investigation reveals, is that it... I don't know what it's made of. Correct. <laughs> yeah, smash it, sure. I say, like, hoisting my, my bags over here. <laughs> I'll be around here. <laughs> oh, I, I have a bag of holding. What am I worried about? Hey, wait, we can just stuff the donkey in the... Oh, wait, no, it can't fit in the bag. No, it can't. Damn it. <laughs> right. A uh, bag of holding. Once everyone Indeed. is prepared, I want to smash. Yeah, smash. Smash away. Yeah. Okay. Smash. You're doing it from right where you are there? Yeah, but I'm going to... Wait until uh, Yulandar is no longer in harm's way. Oh, hmm. okay, sure. And only hold yeah. 500 pounds. I, I, I reactivate I thought, my force field as well. Yeah, I thought you might want my uh, saving throw, but if you want me to back off, I will. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. No offense. When you say smash, describe to me what you're doing. Uh, okay, so I put my shield down for a second. I mm -hmm. take my fists and do like the Zangief, like double fist punch into the ground thing. oh i thought it would i thought it would be like the um the guy that loses the magic game and then you know <laughs> flips like grabs it yeah. and slams it into the floor and then flips it yeah no i, I, I know I exactly what you're talking about. like I, yeah. I just clasp my hands and then just pound it down okay the altar adarinus i'll take a dexterity saving throw please <laughs> that's what i'm here for i'm better than mule <laughs> Oh, uh, it's just, no, wait. It's just the 11. Oh. It's not, not, yeah, I would say that's not advantage, right? <laughs> nope. Okay, so as soon as your um, living metal hands touch the altar, um, there is the sound of resounding... Well, no, I guess it would be... There is a bright flash of light as a bolt of lightning streaks south along the aisle between the pews. Um, yeah. That DC, or that saving throw, is not enough to succeed, so you're going to take the full brunt of this lightning bolt. Okay. 
which 26 lightning damage okay uh 14 of that slams into my force field the other 12 hits me i go uh i oh i guess i don't really go flying anywhere i just kind of like move back like five feet like <laughs> and then uh what is the status of the altar uh it looks the same as it did before you tried to smash it god damn it so i hit a few buttons on my arm and oh, i'm sorry no i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry let me go back oh, um okay. its color changes to a fiery blue red oh fiery you broke it. <laughs> yeah. no um you broke it so i yeah i reacted to my was change the field. color well so, something happened though and that that means something <laughs> yeah um I'm gonna this is true. pick back up my shield. Okay. And I'm gonna say, uh, "Stay back," and I'm gonna touch it again. With your hand. Yep. Okay. But this time I have my shield out. Okay. Um, well, I need another dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, I have advantage this time because my shield gives me advantage against spells and spell-like abilities. Okay. Fuck me. <laughs> 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 okay. So this time, um, a. A uh, flaming ball of fire hurls out uh, from, again, from the north side of the room, goes down yep. the aisle, and... Uh, Three hot ball of fire. Strikes Adarnus, but no one else is in range. Um, and that is going to do... You're going to take the full damage, which is the same as Lightning Bolt. Look at that. <laughs> 33 fire damage. Okay, 14 hits my shield. The rest, uh, the other 19 hits me. I am 69. I have 69 hit points left. Wow. Nice. The <laughs> uh, A, the donkey, is... Um, uh, <laughs> what They don't bleat. What are they, what's, the, what's the word for the sound they make? Nay. Bray. Nay. Bray. 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 Thank you. Bray. Yes, it is braying like mad and struggling to like get closer to where Ziggs and <laughs> Iliandor are because it wants out of that room. Um, uh, uh, what color is the altar now? Uh, it remains fiery bluish red. Oh, Don't touch yeah. it again! <laughs> so I, it I thought perhaps if I continued to trigger it, it would run out. Stupid robot. <laughs> Magical but words appear on the altar and they idea. say third time's the charm. <laughs> Hmm. I'm at loss. Uh, I, I move Ziggs to be in front of the altar, and then I just <laughs> like drum on it like a you know. No. What? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm gonna be in full cover, like crouched down, you know, behind this thing. Uh huh. I'm mage hand that thing and just whoa, flick whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, let me let me step aside if you're gonna do that. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, I say, hey, move. <laughs> you uh, mage hand yeah, the altar? Mage hand, and the mage hand flicks, yeah. I'll actually, I'll stand in like front of the mule and put all. my shield out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think we're going to bring him over here. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. And I mean, I'll... the cover is, but, you know. Okay, so, yeah, I, I flick the altar. The mage hand hits the altar and nothing happens. It uh, slaps it. Nothing happens. Has to be actual person touching it, I think. Robot is an actual person. <laughs> I take offense to that, sir. You take it. <laughs> really be. You know. Alright, let's get out of here. Very well. I mean... That's pretty. Oh well, I guess we got. Yeah, we got the door over there. So what else is it? Right. So this this one is is this gone? Uh, the, these candles gone out now with all the exploding. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, the, from the fireball, the candelabras are probably knocked over. Mm. I'll stand them back up. Okay, that's nice. Them. That's nice. And then like these ones weren't lit, were they? Oh, like these ones as well. Okay. Um. um anything? Uh, nothing. What the urns? 
urns were empty. The, the left one was checked and it was empty. What about? Uh, I mean, I you... could, we could, we could, you know, walk through this doorway here. It'll probably be death. Uh, if you pull the stopper on the rightmost urn, the wood and brass plug, um, you peer inside it is empty. What the fuck? Press to digitate uh, and draw a big C on it in, in like orange paint because I can uh, make a color, small mark, or symbol appear on an object or surface for an hour. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up that corpse and I'm going to heave it through the doorway. Into the archway? Yeah. Okay. Um... So, yeah. He wasn't carrying anything, was he? Just that charred black chainmail. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, okay, you throw it into the the room beyond the archway and you hear it clatter against a wall. Well, that's twice now. All right. Uh, Why don't you put your right. hand through and see what happens? <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, let's go back to... Uh, Get out. Let's, yeah, let's go back to the, the orb room. Oh, donkey. Uh, <laughs> is my fourth level spell slot more valuable than your second level spell slot to shrink it? Uh, I do only... I have very limited spell slots. I thought you were going to say, is we, my fourth level spell slot can, more valuable than the donkey? <laughs> we, yeah. we can leave him here for now. Well, we can come back to him, right? Well, why don't we send it through the door? The orange fog door. Because uh, it's my donkey? <laughs> yeah, because ouch, ouch, dude. You've got four more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Proven fatal. This is precisely why I didn't let him take hirelings, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least hirelings have a name. This one does. Like hey, name. My donkeys have names. People care more about uh, animals and stuff than they That's, do. True. That's true, too. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if, if if it's content to just stay here and chill for a few hours, then why don't we go back to the orbs? It's not like it has much choice. I mean, the content is a loose, you know, you're using it pretty loosely, yeah. but yeah, it won't go anywhere if that's what you mean. Yeah. Well, I mean, it can't. So right. right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It doesn't matter if it's content or not. It's staying. Uh, how is our Warforged looking? Um, I'm at about. Oh, half you said health. 69 out of like. You got like 120 or something, right? 129, and I have I my force field is back up again, so. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's really more like 83. Okay. Okay, so you guys. So we don't need to take a rest. Multiple or huge chunks of damage to the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm probably okay. I can cure wounds if I really have to. Yeah. All right. So you All right, guys. So we're back. Yeah, we've got. I mean, doorway it seem... here and the gargoyle thing that we this just the red one though right that uh, one if is... shades of red stand for blood the wise will need not sacrifice aught but a loop of magical metal you're well along your march a loop of magical metal all I can think of is a magical belt they wouldn't expect you to come here with anything in particular that would be even shittier game design than 70s RPG hey, yeah I was about to say do you remember <laughs> when you said it was the 70s because yeah. <laughs> it was the 70s and they might very well be like if you don't have a belt of ogre strength <laughs> take 400 <laughs> damage um, <laughs> yeah my own words come back to bite me <laughs> yeah right um, it couldn't possibly be that all right. Anyway, Cora, um, I'm, I'm going to check. Right. Oh. So there's there's the illusion in front of the foot one, which is the black one, and the red one is waist height. Uh, the red one is waist high. Yes. So I'm going to search all of the spheres that are at shoulder height for secret doors. Okay. Didn't we already do that? I didn't. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, nothing. Dude. Just roll dice until something happens. <laughs> so, I mean, Cora, you are now closer to the southernmost archway than anyone else has been. Um, and so you can see that uh, the fog that's on the other side of it, uh, now that you're closer, you can see hints of a f- very faint olive color. Uh, and you can also see that now that you are somewhat closer to it, the stones, the two base stones and the keystone, uh, all glow. Um, the, the rightmost one glows with a citron color. The, uh, keystone. That's basically orange. Yep. The keystone, uh, gives off a russet light. And the leftmost one is, a uh, an, a, a pale green. Mm-hmm. Citrine and Russet are both shades of blood, right? Avoid the green, and you saw Olive. I don't want to go near that arch. Yeah. We haven't checked out these other two doors. Let's check out one of these doors. Sure. I checked them for traps. They weren't trapped. Warbot. Yeah. Open the door. (laughs) Yes, sir. I open the door. The one that I'm standing in front of. Sure. Um... I had that. Where did that go? Oh, I see. It's a different point. Um, okay. Uh, I need... Dexterity check from everyone. I need a dexterity check from Adurnus. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Yeah. Fine. I asked for this. Uh, <laughs> I think it was is the frog that asked for it, actually. But... <laughs> is it a spell or a spell-like effect? Um, you're supposed to let me know when you're about to do something stupid, so I can be there to provide. Well, it wouldn't I think. I think... Way. <laughs> yeah, I think the easiest the easiest call for that is for us to tell you when we're not going to do something. <laughs> uh, it is not a spell like effect. All right, then a two. Okay, um, you open the door, and you can tell uh, as you open it that the inside of the door is attached to a triggering mechanism that fires a spear out of a narrow hole in the wall beyond it, and you take ten piercing damage. To go through the shield. Yeah, it it harmlessly deflects off of my force field, <laughs> and then I just look down at it, and then I look <laughs> slowly over at Ziggs. I shrug. <laughs> Do you wish for me to check the other one? Yes, might as well. <laughs> You're on a roll. I reactivate my force field, then I walk over and open the door. Uh, I'm ten feet away from you this time. <laughs> I'll take a deck save. <laughs> Add four to this. Fifteen. That's probably not good enough. Nope. Eleven damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, it also harmlessly deflects off of my force field. Aren't you glad you glad brought Warbot? Warbot. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I wind up nerfing that ability? I, I whistle I like and uh, turn around and walk off. I like how you've accepted your name, robot. War yeah. Robot. yeah. War, yeah. Robot. Mm-hmm. War machine. Uh, <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, it is a pretty stupid ability. I'm not gonna lie. So how do you like what? How, what is triggering that? How do you turn it back it's on? It's a bonus action. As, as a gain. bonus action on any turn, I can gain temporary hit points equal to my level. Wow. Replacing any temporary hit points I already have. I lose these temporary hit points if I take my armor off, which never happens. Yeah, that also means that you're, like, taking part of your body off. What? (laughs) That's what I'm saying. I I, I will never lose these temporary hit points because I can't possibly doff the armor even if I wanted to. They publish that? No, well, I mean, it's... It's No, this is actually a UA... Oh, that's right. Okay, never mind then. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, 
if the it was armor, like the armor or subclass armor. doesn't do much else sure out sure. of combat you're just impervious in, yeah, in yeah. combat i have a lot of other stuff but out of combat this is what i do right i walk around and i soak it, the damage this is why they brought you <laughs> indeed <laughs> okay they were, they were like they were like you warforged we need someone to stand in front of shit <laughs> Great, great. I'm, that I'm good at that. During the war, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, are any of these uh, gems or the the stones on the door arch uh, doing anything? Like the the early, the other ones were glowing. They glow the same way, you said, right? As you yes, the to. same. No, three. Three, the other ones glowed in a particular order. They don't glow in an order, but as you approach them, they their their glow intensifies. Don't touch those. Don't touch them! <laughs> uh. Well. Alright. Right. Said avoid. Shun green and of the shades of red. Right? Mm, not precisely, but, uh. It, well, yeah. yeah, it doesn't say to avoid the red. It just says if shades of red stand for blood, the wise will need not sacrifice all but a loop of magical metal. I, I think we should try this one. Uh, try the try the uh, the hidden door. Yeah. Uh, uh. What was the 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 gargoyle? It just we could fit valuables. Yeah, just, hand. yeah we could put gems in the three hands, three of its four hands that were still in existence. I'll take one of my eighteen thousand gold pieces and put it in its hands. Just a gold piece. Yeah, one gold piece and see if it... I'm sorry, did you say my 18,000? I think you mean <laughs> our 18,000 gold pieces. I'm just, I'm, I'm carrying them in my bag of holding. I'm earning so... my payment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, you put the gold piece in and, and nothing happens. Yeah, so my 17,000... Wait, so nothing happens? Correct. You put the gold piece in its hand and nothing happens. See how he stressed <laughs> the word gold? I take a platinum piece and I put it in its hand. Um, it looks nicer there than the gold piece, but nothing happens. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Do you want me to do you want me to repeat what it was that you noticed about the gargoyle? Yeah, if, we're, if we're working on shitty yeah, indie the, 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 then, yeah. the hands were clawed like you could fit a large a hun, at least a hundred gold piece gem. Yes. Oh, there okay. you go. There you go. They were oh, like wow. they were holding it. So it wasn't like that? a car. We did. No, I mean, nobody did. Like, you know, we. Well, I think all of our gems equals like one pew worth of gold. So, <laughs> I think we're still in the black if we if we try that. Uh, uh, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had four. Use your three. <laughs> you do it. Fine. I put one of mine in one of its hands. Okay. Um. The fingers of the hand close around the gem and hold it tight. Did you guys see that? <laughs> no. That was creepy. <laughs> Again. I tap my pockets like I'm looking. <laughs> I know I have other gemstones around here, you know, somewhere. <laughs> Everyone's just staring at you. <laughs> No, we're we're all still down here. I don't know where. Ah, <laughs> uh, do it. What do what? Yeah, well, there's four of us, and we all had at least one. <laughs> so if if it, it it you use your gems, and if something happens to them, I'll give you one gem. <laughs> Put another, yeah, I put, I guess I've got one gem left if, you know, or wait, no. So I do one more gem. I'll do the gems one at a time. Okay. Uh, same thing happens to the second one. Another gem? Okay. Uh, you put the gem in the third remaining arm that is on this gargoyle. The fingers close around it, and then there's a moment, and all three hands, the fingers um clench into fists and the gems are turned to dust and powder that just sprinkles down at its feet and then <laughs> and then after a moment the stone hands open back up to their original position <laughs> wow i wish i was ledger so i could tip it over 
Would you like for me to tip it over? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's not doing us any good like this. <laughs> I tip it over. I'll take an athletics check. <laughs> uh, 12. It's probably not good. Yeah, no. Yeah. Does not budge. Oh, I'll, right. I'll give I'll give a uh, hundred gold piece gem to the the. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. We paid eighteen k. We could leave right now and be fine for the rest of our lives. <laughs> He's struggling to push this cock. Okay. Six walks up to give you the gem, walks into the corner, sees you like straight in the pool of this gog all over, and then just turn around and walks. Uh, Alright, into the crawl space. After you! Very well. I crawl. I will follow. Okay, and I think that this is where I'm going to call it for the night. <laughs> no! It is 11.30, um, but yeah, you you guys made it, all of you made it further. Like, I expect there to, there to be at least one death by this point. Really? Um, how? Uh, well, I'm not going to say how, because there <laughs> I mean, are things that haven't been. Like, I soaked a decent amount of damage, but I don't think we could have possibly died from anything that we encountered so far. Right. But we might we might have definitely avoided some really bad traps. Also potentially mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're not going to award experience. You guys are fourteenth level. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, we're, just gonna, we're just going to meet and hopefully do this again. Uh, hopefully next Monday. So and cool. sure. yeah, yeah, okay. based yeah. on this amount of progress, I would imagine that that would probably be the closer for us. That'll be the last one. So oh, awesome. Well, okay, thanks for playing, guys. I have... yeah. yeah, this is a lot of fun. Actually, I like this a <laughs> yeah. lot. Um, I also have White Plume Mountain, which is a level eight. A death trap dungeon or, or funhouse dungeon so i'd be willing to do that one as well i know that one a little better than tomb of horrors but anyway mm -hmm. thanks for playing guys uh to everyone on stream thanks for watching uh i hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you guys next monday uh, yep. bye thanks for bye. bye bye bye